So everyone, I need you all to roll for me initiative. All right. So, getting into this, uh, Mac, you instantly hear yes. from your left around the corner of the stone wall next to you. You hear it in another uh, in comment, intruder. It is your turn. And I can, I, and it's dark in here, correct? No. Oh, kind of. No, we've got lights because I've got torches. Yeah, head. we get oh, torches, and then uh, yep. Brooke's character has a uh, magic light on her on her mallet. We have night vision. Hammer. Yeah, you guys have yes. night vision. <laughs> and there's 20 feet of bright light around my hammer. Yeah. Uh, can I ask a question? You said that I hear a voice, but do I see it? Do I see the person? It's around the corner. Oh, it's around the corner. Okay. Um, I take out my bow and walk toward the corner. All right. So as you slowly keep around the corner, so we'll just move you up so you're creeping around. <coughs> Uh, you do just see the goblin there, uh, brandishing a weapon. That's it. Wait, so do I gotta make a move, I would imagine, right? Uh, since you have your bow out, yeah. you could choose to try to shoot him at this distance, but since he's so close, the attack will be a disadvantage, because he's close enough to see you doing it. Right. So at this point, he sees me, correct? Oh yeah, he sees you. Oh yeah, he 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 knew we were there before we knew he was there. <laughs> this music is very intense. Vision. Ah. Uh. And I have a wall behind me, correct? Um, actually, if you look at the uh, map, uh, yep. you had to move forward to see him. You have a movement so, uh, directly behind you. Beside you and next to you is uh, Phoenix and McClure. So beside me and next to me is Phoenix and McClure. So, um, so I have a, I have one of each of them on either side of me. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, if you look at the map, I'm in your right. McClure's right in front of you. Moonman's behind. I beg to differ. I do believe it. Like, fear not him, a call, for I will have your back with my trusty shield and torch. Something along like that. See, <clears throat> the reason why I ask is because I'm. I've got my bow out. We just so lost tragic. Oh God! Essentially, we're surrounded. That's not good. We we can't lose tragic. He's no, we can't, we can't do anything until he gets back. <laughs> we can't we do shit until he gets back. We can discuss can get... tactics, people. <laughs> can we get enough to shut in the scrolls? He just got uh, he just connected. When your DM DCs uh, and your players are lost in the confusion. Get enough in the scrolls for tragic. Uh, essentially, make... I'm going to send you a DM. Essentially, uh, Smokey, what you could do is uh, equip your sword and knock him. Yeah, but but do I have time? That's what uh, you know. Oh yeah, it's turn based. Right. No, oh, well, thank you. And your your speed is how many steps you can take each turn. I've just hit some technical difficulties. I've lost my uh oh no there never mind. Sorry. There are more crew stream. We I seem know, to I be know. experimenting some technical differences. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Miss Reps, I'm sorry, I didn't realize that. I thought it was M Reps. My bad. Ah. Yeah, Shine, I just sent you a DM, man. Is it the same troll that you've been dealing with every night? 
for like months. I know who it is. Yes, and I think I know who it is. I mean, the one that keeps yeah, following, yeah, like, yeah. Bob the yeah, Bot yeah, follower? Yep, yeah, I think I know who it is. I'll talk, I'll talk to you guys after, after the stream. Of okay, it. yeah, uh, I, I gotta know now. I know, now we're very intrigued. <laughs> I know. I think I know who it is. Ooh, fucking Shine's got the IP address. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Shine's gonna leave a shiny mess all over him. Yeah. <laughs> ah, thank you, crazy. There you go. Oh, come on, tragic buddy. Ooh, okay, that wasn't meant to happen. What? Hey! I see a tragic in roll 20. Alright. Sweet, sweet. Should be back in here. Possibly. Yep. Yep. The DM uh, is gone. Anarchy! A... Are you kidding me right now? Food fight! Acro, like like he like he pops back in like we've already done the dungeon. What's next? Like you weren't there to roll for attack, so we just killed everyone. <laughs> oh, hang on. What's happened here? You guys hear me now? Ooh. Yeah, what's up? Mm -hmm. just the most... Yeah, there he if is. I, if I say no, would you believe me? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. I might. So at this point, so tragic, apparently, can I swap weapons. Swap where what? Swap weapons. At this point. Uh, if you're wanting to swap to your sword and shield, you can, but that's gonna take up your action. Okay, that's what I'm gonna do, cause I ain't got no time okay. for no bowl right now. <laughs> yeah, and it is really close quarters. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't believe at this level you have much you can use as a bonus action. Yeah, probably not. Okay. Right. Would I conclude your turn then? Uh, yeah. All right, Lord McClure, that brings us to you. Um, I am gonna have my sword and shield in hand. I'm gonna drop my torch. Pray I can mm -hmm. pick it up later. I'm gonna, uh, I'm going to charge towards the goblin that Smokey is looking at, because I don't like the way he's staring at my caboose. All right, so you're gonna move up, and I'm gonna do my gun darn finest to chop his head off. All right, now just click the weapon in your character sheet, and that should go into the chat box. Uh, oh damn! <laughs> uh, let's see, uh, you, as you bring down your sword, going straight for his head, you see him bring his uh, his scimitar up, and with his second hand, braces the blade and catches your blade. Son of a bitch! <laughs> he has successfully <laughs> blocked your attack. Oh damn! Anything else you can do in your turn with the bonus action? Uh, where did I see my bonus actions? It's a, uh, whatever abilities or spells you have that would say like it takes a bonus action to do. No, I have nothing. Nothing, yep. Alright. <coughs> with that, that'll bring us to Moon. Moon, you see instantly Smokey and uh, swa uh, just pivot into the next uh, five feet ahead of him, puts away his bow and arrow, pulls out a weapon. Uh, you see McClure turn around and rush something. You hear the clang of metal on metal. Uh, and you do hear sound on the other side of the, this wall that's going along your right side. Alright. Let's see. I got my dagger. I get out of that ready. Have, have that equipped. 
I'm also a mage, so I, I can just. Sorry. Yep, you can't cast anything. spells. Oh, I don't think I have to you can't see useful. anyone. I have night and vision. Phoenix. Well, there's no one like in line of sight. Like they're behind something. Ah. Uh. And more importantly, uh, uh, Mac, Phoenix, and McClure seem to be standing kind of in the way of the hallway. Uh, so I can't even cast a spell then. Uh, right. If there was something past me, you could see. Uh, you uh, definitely could, but there's nothing within eyesight to cast at. Hmm. Oh. I can't really cast anything then. Oh, because there's a wall right there between him and that goblin. Yep, yeah. and then the there's... three right here are actually blocking the walkway from him moving. Yep. This music makes it more intense, like I'm about to answer a question. You can hold an dollars. action until he sees <laughs> a million gold, until sorry. He sees one. Uh, yeah, that, actually, that's something you can do, is you are able to hold a spell. Alright. You basically hold it ready like you're going to cast it until you see something, but that only glasses until your next turn. Let's see. What's this one? Oh, I could do... Ooh. I like the sound of this one. I can cast... I can have a Witch Bolt ready to cast. I'm like last. There you go. Okay, so you're gonna you're gonna hold on to witch bolt then. Yeah. <coughs> Have that ready to go. All right. So we're going to. All right. So the goblin is currently uh, cornered by McClure and Mac. This goblin, I clashed into an epic stalemate between right. sword and scythe. It's going to attempt to swing at McClure with its scimitar. And as it swings, you just hear it screaming and coming, Master! Ah! Oh, shit. Wait, Master or Master? Like, uh, for of a comment, so you understood it, it was a little, little swallowed, but it was Master. Okay. Oh. Uh, McClure, what is your armor class? 18. Okay. You see it coming, and you just ping, just smack it back with the shield. <laughs> Bet you think you can fight me, one on one? <laughs> you may right, have my first blow. <laughs> Alright. So, I'm gonna go rush the goblin to my right. While dropping the... A lot of wall covering there. I'm going to drop my torch and drop, drop my sword. And... <laughs> Alright. I think it's just straight in the wall. Go over to get Alright, and I'm going to try to cleave his head off. Alright, go in for him. Go ahead and roll the attack with your sword. Seventeen will hit. Click on the longsword one handed yeah. in the chat for war damage. Oh <laughs> uh, god, whoever just redeemed Demacia, thank you for that. That was <laughs> Alright. And with a swift motion as you pivot into in front of this um uh, Goblin, you draw your sword, and with a nice, clean, horizontal swing, come clean across the neck and watch. Click, as the neck comes in two, head rolls forward, and rolls between your feet. Ah, die, you foul creature! That is one dead goblin. It's just me and the code being like, how the hell did you kill him so easily? I'm a fucking badass. <laughs> <laughs> 
Another one. <laughs> Another one. Fuck. Hey, 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 the plus side is that we know, know that of. it's got a damage of a hit point less than seven. Well, seven, sorry. Right. I got Say after this battle's over, can I be like, say something along the lines of that, that I'm gonna like, you know, stealthily like, uh, recon forward, like you know? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Cool. That's all I wanted to know. I didn't know if I could, you know, throw that kind of shit out there during like the fucking mm -hmm. cave crawl or whatever. But okay. yeah, no. Like if, if if as long as it's you know. In the right context, in the right mode, if you want to do something, just say, "Hey, I was thinking about doing this. Can I do it?" And you know, we'll see what happens. All right, all right, sweet. All right, cool. All what right, speaking of which, uh, Morgana. Yeah. You what? You turn around and see a goblin has lost its head. One goblin is in combat with McGuire, flanked by mate, uh, Mac. Um, what are you doing with your turn? Well, I was going to go after that one that uh, Mr. Phoenix went after, but I'm here to kill them. Sorry. <laughs> I saved you one, though. I can't Stop get to him. <laughs> Con, uh, I'm blocking him from me. So, let's see here. Let me see. Hey, right, crazy. So when you get back. I cannot use that turn. Can't use that turn. Can I use this one? Oh, shit. I know what to do. I do know what to do. Well, then we'll just do this. Will you go ahead and who's next in line? Uh, uh, Mac is next. I will walk up to Mac, touch his shoulder, and give him guidance, which means you can add a d4 to your ability rolls. Uh, is it only his ability rolls? Yeah. Hmm. Okay, so I okay. I gotta remember how to do that shit. So when I do that, oh, it's in that little fucking um, yeah thing on the that, that that looks like a dice, right? Yeah. So they touch a willing creature once before the spell ends. The target can roll a d4 and add the number of rolls to one ability check of its choice. You can roll the die before or after making the ability check. Okay. All right. So. So that would be her turn, then. She basically blessed me or whatever? Yeah, she came over here and cast a, a spell on you, so you felt a wash of positive, just divine energy above you. You, you feel like you could accomplish anything right now. Okay, so, and, and, and now it's my turn? Mm -hmm. Or she still has... Uh, okay. No, that was a full right. action. So... I, I rush in at the goblin... And try to smack his face with my, with my shield. And come in. With my sword behind it. Okay, I'll say just um. Just go ahead and roll me an attack with your sword. Okay, do I have to put the D four stuff on there? No, that's that's uh, not for uh, attack. That'll be abilities. Like if you go to to stealth or investigate stuff oh, like that. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Okay, so what do I need to do? Uh, on your character sheet, underneath yep. where your HP is, there should be attacks. Find the weapon you're attacked with and click that. Weapon and then click there. Alright, that'll definitely hit. So in the chat box where it says short sword, click the word short sword. And that'll roll the damage. And, uh, in, in where roll short sword? In the, ch in the chat, where it has the, your, where it shows what you rolled. Click on that. Oh. It show where it shows what I rolled. 
Yeah, the just below it says the word short sword. Click that. Oh, just below short sword. Short sword. In the chat? Yeah, where well, it pops up saying what you oh, want. Oh, I see it. I see. Okay, I yep. get you. <laughs> ah, there we go. Yeah. All right. So you come in, give it a nice pa. Just give you a nice stun for a moment in the face of your shield. Come in. Uh, your blade strikes cut just below its collarbone, just cleaning right into it. And it's like, <laughs> and you can see with its free hand, it's like reaching for you. So I have to react to this reaching? Is that what I'm getting? No, it's just oh. describing what what's it, what's going what on in that doing? moment. Okay. That'll be your turn then? Yep, yep. Alright, the clear. Gotta try finish this sucker off. <laughs> oh, two people attacking him. <laughs> Get up! <laughs> Why won't you die? <laughs> Ooh, it says long sword. Click on the long sword again. Uh, yeah. Oh, thank fuck. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> All right, and and following up uh, as uh, Mac pulls his blade back, you come in, bring your sword up, <laughs> piercing straight through the bottom below the jaw, clean through the top of the goblin's head. Pull back and watch the goblin drops to his knees and falls back. Are you and my shot, goblin. boy? You dick. <laughs> that was metal. Good image in my head of that. <laughs> right. oh, I know that this son of a bitch parried my first attack. <laughs> right. And as you guys finish the second goblin and uh, make, make ready to continue on, you hear echoing throughout the cavern Get them! Oh shit. Oh no. Run for it now! all the men yeah the numbers matter for not in a short uh confined area right we just oh, need... which way are they coming from that's the issue we just need to find the high uh, ground when we have found them earlier they were coming from behind us no because there was remember there was a left yeah. behind us and we went yeah. right. uh, and now they're uh, alerted wait, so going. they might be coming from every wait, direction wait. Mm -hmm. You guys are not officially out of combat. Uh, okay, so see. It would be well, Moon Man, if I was you, yeah, get get in the middle of us. <laughs> Wait, no, see, see, just for that, see, can I do? Cause see, because I haven't moved, can I just quickly move towards Moon Man? Uh, I'll say yeah. Since your turn's not yet over, you can go ahead and do that. Yeah, I'll quickly move towards Moon Man in case they come from behind us. And that way, he's not going to be as squishy. Oh, I got a spell already. No, still. Yeah, but the issue is though, is there's more than, if there's more than one, or if you miss. Yeah, and plus, when you clear a block, yeah, I'm um, use also... your spell. Yeah, because I also need to find out if any of them moved faster than he did. <clears throat> well, I mean, if I'm casting a spell, I should be slow. Yeah. Where is Mr. Declare moving to? Am I able to move right, myself, cool. or does he have to do it? Oh, no, I can't. Right, I'll, uh, move, so I'll can move, move next to Kaji there, because that's, that's only 15 feet. We'll move to him there. Right. Fair off, Warlock, for I will be your shield. Like Captain America. <laughs> and, of course, you know, McClure had to go get my way for my little scheme. I All was right. Finding. So, Moon. As it comes, uh, as you hear the echo, you then uh, realize you don't see anything coming yet, but you all hear the rattling, gawking, squawking, and sound of metal uh, scratching rock, both behind you and ahead of you. Hmm. Of course. All right. Well, I mean, I got, I have a spell ready. Right. 
Can I have like a spell ready and then like have my dagger out too or not? Um, I would say you could have your dagger in the one hand and okay. you're casting your spell with the side of the other. Okay, okay. Uh, if you wish to try and see them coming, you could move, but you would be moving away from the clear. No, I don't want to. I spell like that, yeah? Alright, in that case, let me check one thing right here real quick. Because you were holding a spell. Hey, fast one. You you could be fine. You could just move to your left, and that would give you line of sight both sides. Right. Well, I'm gonna move next to Organa. Yeah, but that still gives Smokey that little blood patch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So there wasn't a rat on it, so you can continue to hold that spell. All right. The spell the spell does not fizzle out on your on this turn. So you can keep holding it until something shows up. Okay. Right, so you're just gonna remain and uh, move behind him and hold up. Yeah, don't hit me with your damn spell, okay? <laughs> oh, I will. I mean, maybe Phoenix. <laughs> if you hit me with that spell and I survive, I am All taking right. your hand. <laughs> Phoenix. In marriage? Okay. <laughs> oh. Well, I am going to move to the right of Morgana. Okay. Moving on her right. And then that'd be her left. That'd be her right. Oh yeah, her right, yeah, because she's facing down with it. Yeah. Be my left. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking at it from the um, side view, okay? They really don't have anything else to do at the moment. So I guess I'll just my turn. Okay, so we have Morgana. Three four goblins on this yeah. turn list now. <laughs> you hear what sounds like a lot of them coming. From which direction? I'll say you roll a perception check to get a better read on it. Uh, okay. Oh, shit. Okay. So you guys are going with the nine instead. Yeah. All right. So I'll see with how loud they're being in the echoing of the cave. It's hard to make out how many or what direction, but you can swear there's a lot more echoes coming from ahead of you than behind you. Ooh. Okay. So there's a lot more in front of me than behind me. That's the feeling you're getting from the way the sounds are kind of going off. Alright, I am going to move to right here. You're going to move up? Yeah. Like All how right. I'm the, the bigger guy at the back now. Okay. And then I'm just going to hold here. You're going to hold there? With my Warhammer at the fucking ready. <laughs> All right. Then anyone else just just anyone else get like a random bit when she's like Warhammer at the ready, and I just got Gimli being let them come. Bring <laughs> 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 it. There's still one elf in his mind that still draws breath. <laughs> Big bushy beard and everything. <laughs> no, I'm an Osmia girl. No beards for me, please. You wrap your hair around so it makes a beard. <laughs> And the first one that comes in my side, I'm swinging. Blind. Yep, she, she's just like, yep, bring it. Let's go. Yep, it comes right up to you. Alright. But I'm Quit. swinging with all my might. Crap, do I need to roll now? Magic. Um, What's up? Have lost the DM yet, have we? <laughs> Do I need to roll now? <laughs> yeah, roll for your attack. Sweet. Oh, 
Okay, it's on normal. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, don't roll that yeah. disadvantage. <laughs> that Is will that definitely it? hit it. Ooh. <laughs> definitely. Ooh. You squashed his head. Take that, you son of a bitch! So, as it comes running around the corner, just leaping towards Morgana, you see her Warhammer raise, <laughs> brings it down, crack, as you just hear it puncturing through the skull, splattering it red and into the ground. Nice, Brooke. The floor at the back. Oh, <laughs> damn it, Morgan! <laughs> that is one, uh, one dead goblin. Apparently, Lord McClure has not seen as much combat. <laughs> I'm a warrior. I do my business. Business. <laughs> Good. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I bet that one's going to come up right there. Goblins, and I'm all out of goblins. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Is there make attempt to swing at Morgana? Uh, Morgana, does a nineteen hit? Welcome back, crazy. So wait, wait a nineteen? Yep. Yeah. All right. So sure you see it runs around the corner. You're expecting it to go high like the last one. No, it actually goes low. Swings with a scimitar and just kind of scratches just between some of your armor. It's a flesh wound to the leg, but you should be fine for three damage. The worst part that worries me about all this is we don't see the rolls, so like it's really tense. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> all right, so that's that goblin. Now for the fastest goblin. Oh, wait, did I miss a goblin? Uh, you've got two goblins oh, on the no, edge. He... One power bomb bomb. No, that's, that's right. I forgot those two goblins. They're not... Um... They came after because we were in the middle of the initiative. Mm. Where is this one? Ah. There is one there. All right, Mac. You hear a lot of stuff um, coming from the other direction, and you can barely see something towards the end of the hall. I step up next to Phoenix with bow with bow drawn and attempt okay. to shoot at what I see at the end of the hallway. All right, so the one that's over here next to uh, okay. over here. Yeah, the one that's that that's uh, uh, next to the one that that killed uh, or that that uh, 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 Brooke killed. All right. Go ahead and click the bow. Click the bow. Mm-hmm. And we'll click All right, that'll hit. Save for damage. <laughs> so you you pull it back, aim, let go, and you just watch this lodge right as next like, and you see it like holding. With one hand, the arrow, and the other hand, it's still swinging the scimitar trying to hit her. <laughs> <laughs> it's not quite dead, but it's feeling it. <laughs> I mean, I'd feel it too if an arrow just went and lodged into me. <laughs> no fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see. Oops. Oh, interesting. All right. The goblin starts spreading up in front of McClure. So not quite in range. And the final goblin. Alright. This last goblin running in is going to attempt to shoot at Morgana because she's closest. I don't even need to ask if that hits. <laughs> Is that a natural 20? No. We're close. 
<laughs> uh, Morgana, you hear, uh, as you look forward, you see another one just come into view and just quickly lets off an arrow. Twing, you feel it catch you in the shoulder. That's three points of piercing damage. What did it roll? Uh, if you want that answer, uh, question, they rolled a 21. Damn. Yeah, that sucks. Holy that shit. Head. Yeah, that's what I was like. Well, yeah, God's taking the most damage here. I'm gonna die, guys. <laughs> yeah, right, we clue her. Or food? Um, no, uh, currently, I believe Mac has one healing potion and Phoenix has the other two. Yeah. No, I've got one as well. Yeah, because there's oh, five of them. Understood that one. Is. Um, well, naturally, I am going to uh, charge forward into the goblin directly in front of me. Okay. Um, or actually, before you do that, I did forget one important thing. Okay. Uh, Moon was holding a spell until something came in sight. Uh, Moon, your call. The one in front next to Mar uh, Morgana in front of Phoenix, or the one in front of McClure. Is there a possibility that I could hit either ally or no? Uh, no, because the spell actually you designated a target, and I don't think this one... I think this one is a roll hit, so go ahead and roll for the spell. Okay. So, spell... It's probably going to ask you at what level, but I think you only have the one level yeah. right now. Can I just click on the spell, or what? Yeah, it should bring up a prompt, does it? Oh no, rules of attack, okay. 17 to hit. Yeah, so you'll hit the goblin. It whizzes around and hits it. Uh, which one were you hitting? Uh, I was gonna hit the one McClure was going after. Alright, go over that one. Alright, in the chat, go ahead and click on the word Witch Bolt to roll damage. Oh, yeah, hey, yeah, level one. Oh, yeah, I can only do level one, yeah? Mm hmm. As you level, you'll get higher ones. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. So, McClure, as you rush up to that goblin, you just watch as uh, lightning energy surges past you, just hits it, and you see it going, <laughs> it just hits the ground and is smoking. Mm, deep fried goblin. <laughs> you do still have movement left, and you see one towards the end of the hallway. Mm. Yeah, I might, I might as well attack that one up at the end of the hallway. You want to stop there or keep going? No, yeah, I'll stop there. I won't go too far forward. Okay. And so it's long sword to hit. 24. Oh, dang. Nice. Eight. All right. As you run at this one, it sees what happens to the other one. It's like... <laughs> And you just go, go swing in, blade, whoop, clean through its mouth, severing the head in half. Oh, damn. Awesome. A lot of head slashing. <laughs> t turns, turns to Phoenix. Bitch, that's how you do it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. Uh, right. Turns back, uh, tells McClare, like, yeah, I only took you three tries to get there. <laughs> Next time you need to heal it, you ain't getting my hand. Uh, Alright, is that the end of your turn then? Yeah, that's the end of my turn. Alright, Moon, you're back up. Um, I believe that was the only spell slot you had, wasn't it? Let's see. Am I supposed to, like, minus something, or...? Uh, yeah, on your spells, uh, section, you should see, like, spells, spell level one, and yeah. then the one side should be your total one screen how many you got. Is it just one and one? And there are slots total and slots remaining? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, turn the slot remaining to zero. Alright. So you've used your only uh, non-cantrip spell for the yeah till your next rest. 
And so just move. Move up behind uh, Mac. Yeah. Alrighty. That's it for that. That's all I can really do, yeah? Uh, so my dad yeah, pretty much because they're kind of hogging the way. Yeah. Alright. Uh, Phoenix, you are up. Alright. Organa's taking quite a few licks. I'm gonna rush up and take out this goblin. The one next to her? Yeah. Alright. So I'll swing my sword at his head and try to cleave it off. Alright. Make the swing. Oh! Okay. How do you kill this one? I'm going to cut it in half. Alright. So, you rush up, blade coming downward, bring it down clean on the middle center of his skull, you see the crack crunch, and the blade just seems to go clean down, and as you come through and bring your sword back, you see the goblin's like, eh? As it splits down the middle and slops in two pieces. That's pretty metal. Uh, he anime slashed that bitch! Alright, man, I don't know if I had to do this. Oh, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, when you, when you yeah I figured you were. I, I should have had you do that first, but yeah, I figured you were rolling more than enough damage. Yeah. So like, to be fair, yeah, that that's only had one hit point. <laughs> yeah. Because that's true, yeah. <laughs> Total bad, fucker. It didn't matter if he rolled a one or not. It was gonna die. Uh, actually, um, actually, let me roll something real quick. Because I just heard something very important. Hurt row. Uh, I'm sorry, Mac. When he cut it in two, he also cut your arrow in half. Oh, he doesn't get the arrow back. Well, I don't get my arrow back, so I gotta go into my arrow. <laughs> Yep, you have one less arrow in your arsenal. Yeah, crazy. This, this website's pretty awesome. Like, I, I know D&D Beyond has the same thing, but yeah. Should be on the right side. Yeah, I now have 19. Yep. Not able to retrieve that one. Alright, Phoenix, that's it? Uh, yeah, that's all for now. Oh, wait. Could I give... Morgana, that kind of action. That would be more of an action to pull out the item and attempt to trade. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. Okay. My turn. Yep, you're up. So I see this goblin in front of me. Uh, the one, two, yeah, that's the one that shot you in the shoulder. I am going to, as a bonus action, Okay. I'm going to do Healing Word mm -hmm. on myself. Alright. For four. You heal for four hit points. <laughs> then I'm going to pretty much leap over this guy and smack this guy with my Warhammer. <laughs> Alright. As you go to smack him, you can see uh, around the corner of this hallway. Okay. All right, go ahead and smack him. Definitely hits. <laughs> Come on, good damage. Yeah. Oh, nice. <laughs> and, I just and swing it and just crush his head. Yep. Just like the last one, clean blow to the head. Here are the crunching of the bone. This time you actually see the indention in the face as you pull back as it just caved in. Pretty metal. Jeez, not just uh, that. That's awesome. To be fair, I'm, I'm well, all for going forward and being gung-ho. But now Morgana literally has three goblins to um, that are going to attack her. <laughs> She's got three goblins in front of her. Yeah. Let's just right, hope they have turn? shit rolls. Yeah, hopefully. So I mean, that's your turn? Yeah. My armor class is 18. Alright, let's go in. 
So let's jump over there. It's an attempt to shoot you over. Nope, that one boom, goes high and Chilled hits up. the wall. Yep. Chilled up Captain America style. <laughs> yeah. Captain <laughs> Morgana. Sorry. <laughs> go across. I'm killing shit. What are you doing? It's going to attempt to stab you. Sorry. That's rude. Uh, does, a, does a 17 hit? No. Okay. It goes and go, tries to go for a blow again. You're like, nope, not this time. You catch it with the hammer and push it back. <laughs> back, you fool. Right. This goblin's gonna come up. Gonna hit me again. Actually, no, he's gonna stay back. He's gonna attempt to shoot at you as well. Oh, oh nope. That one flies by and glances off your armor. Yes! They all miss. Maybe Please. a pro needs to do it. Alright. Mac? You're I'm up. Gonna shoot you see, arrow. Uh, I'm gonna a move up. to her right and a goblin in front of her. I'm gonna I'm gonna move up right next to Mr. Phoenix. Um, mm -hmm. draw, uh, draw my bow and shoot at that one that is to her right. Kitty corner. Right, the one off the side. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Nothing in the way. Go for it. That'll hit, and yep, this one, you see it turn to see that you guys are coming, and whing, right through one of the eyes. Oh, Chill the fuck out, Legolas. Just leave some for the rest of us. <laughs> I'm right. here. Is that all you're doing for now? Uh, what else could I do? Like, I, like, um, I feel like... You only moved about... Was it two squares? So you can move yep. in another four squares if you wanted. I'm assuming I can't move to a square that uh, there's this dead goblin, correct? Uh, you can, but so long as you're on that square or moving through it, it's going to be considered um, difficult terrain because there's something in the way, so you actually move slower. So for each one of those, you're going to move uh half so if you move through those first one of those first two bodies you can only move an additional square so you yeah, could end up right to next go to down next yeah i wanted to go next to brooke hey you're gonna block right. me though so you're next. I, i'm trying to protect brooke here damn it yeah but i could <laughs> do that too <laughs> oh yeah the dm's trying to kill her yeah <laughs> Hey, it's not my fault she's in I'm front. I'm the closest motherfucker, man. I'm the closest motherfucker over. You guys decided to go up that way. Yeah, but Phoenix okay. is going to be his turn before your turn. That's why you don't get to kill a goblin. The go the go the goblins you block me from killing until... you. Yeah, the goblins what, aren't what, what until Morgan's turn. What if I say I'm going to duck for Phoenix? He jumps over me that leaves him minus a half a square. Couldn't you do something like that? I mean, it's action, right? Can't have some crazy what shit. If? I mean, does that work? To what? Does what work? Like, if Phoenix were to say, like, I literally ducked, knew he was coming, you know, because I got the, the woodland sense and shit, ducked, and let him jump over me, and he loses a half a moving square, and he can come in and do whatever. Can you do that? Uh, he could try to do that, but I would, I would have to make him roll the for... Uh, athletics to leap over you. Uh, uh, actually, we could do that. I mean, fishing athletics. You can try it, man. Fucking yeah, try it. Shot. Oh, that'd be sick if I hopped over and then came down and cleaved no, one in half. That's what I'm, saying. <laughs> I'm thinking the editing material right there, Phoenix. All right, let's. We'll do that then. Yeah, all right. That works. If it doesn't work, then it's even better. <laughs> All, all I, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move back. It's gonna be either really badass or really funny. <laughs> <laughs> All I'm gonna do is move back to Moonman because I can't. There's no way I'm getting close to that side. Okay, Moon, yeah, you're back. Gonna up. hold my action. So. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, I guess I'll just move. Get in the same boat as me. <laughs> yeah. I'll 
be right about there. All right, stop right, right there. there. Yeah. All right. And you got no cantrips that are attack spells? Yeah, I got. What is this one? Eldritch Blast. What is that? That's a text spell. Huh. Can I have it ready or? Uh, Cantrip, you can cast as you wish. So, so if oh. you want to hold it, you can still hold it again, but. Or what Smokey says, I can just go up and use it. Yeah. Yep. I'll see, just keep in mind oh, though. Didn't mean to do that. This is. <laughs> I would say it is a little more. Gonna be a little more direct than the. So. Were you wanting to cast it or no? Mm, no. No? Okay, so we'll, we'll ignore that. Yeah, because cantrips, you can cast them as often as you want. Ah. Yeah, there's no limit to that. Alright. So you're just going to bide your time for now, or? Well, I now that I think about it, I rolled a 15. That's 120 I mean, if, feet. If you want to keep the attack, then and that's And that's 120 feet. That's how much range you can get. You can hit... Hit somebody, yeah. Uh, we can certainly see. Let's see how many. Is, how that many? Fifteen hit. That's the issue. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. indeed the question. Which one are you going for? I'll go for the one directly in, like, in, in front, front of me. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah, right. yeah uh, let's try it. Yeah, let's try it. All right. So you aim. You fire as a flash of light from your hand. Morgana, you can see you can feel something behind you coming. You see a glow. Kinda turn to the side. This blast whizzes by the goblin is like, ye and you just hold still. <laughs> Hits the wall and goes clean over the goblin's head. God damn it. <laughs> oh. You missed oh. no. Alright, okay. Phoenix, it's up to you I'll get then. you next time, Inspector Gadget. Next time. Man, don't don't go to storm storm trooper training, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right, Phoenix, you're up. Well, all right. for all you know, they could be missing on purpose. <clears throat> we found one of the rebels. His name's Luke Skywalker. All right, so I'm going to try running up Smokey's back and leaping at Goblin. All right, landing here or in front of Mark? Uh. So probably yeah, right in front of me. Right in front of me. So I can attack the goblin. All right, first roll me um at leg check as you run up uh Max back. Come on, roll. Oh, that'd be golden for squirt. Hi. Oh, oh. bro. Yes. <laughs> yes. Very nice. Yes. All right. So, despite there being some uh, some goblin binds away, you step over them quickly, one onto the the back end of, of Mac and one off the shoulder. Come clean over. Um, All right, and then they roll for attack to come down and hit him. Yeah, roll roll for your attack. <clears throat> Mm. Oh. Uh, not quite. The, go the goblins hear you and see you coming. So together, you see them both kind of step to the side and zoom, just hit the ground between them. Yeah, that was still badass, though. So. Yeah, it was. That was yeah. a cool move, just, man. It's just like, I've just got this like, image in my head now. So like the camera's just like sort of in front of Morgana looking up as Phoenix runs and jumps. He goes, I believe at the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking like something myth, kind of uh, just like where Phoenix is already in the air. Shake my he goes, head. Now that Phoenix dude better grow, better grow some wings and start. <laughs> All right, so can I get around Phoenix now or not? 
<laughs> yeah, you have to move to the his right and his left. So I can move to right there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can cut across. Okay. I kind of shove my way around Phoenix to go. This is how it's done. And swing my hammer at a, <laughs> in front of him. At the same one in, in front, front of, of me. him. Or in front of you. Attitude. Attitude. Go on. Yeah. Watch you miss. And she brings down oh. the hammer. Uh huh. <laughs> yes. Damn. Let's get another crunch as this goblin drops. And actually, as you're Shake making light from the weapon. Phoenix. So we only got one goblin left in his. <laughs> as far as we know. Turn Ben Mike. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, to, to be, to be fair, Brick, what you should have done, you should be like, this is how it's done, roll athletics check. <laughs> that was good. That was good. They that leap was over him. <laughs> In my full chain okay. now. So, <laughs> the, this goblin, it just looks, sees the one dot drop next to it, looks at you both, sees the rest, <laughs> you, no! Starts trying to run. Opportunity attack. Oh, hell no. Yes, I'm gonna so, get that motherfucker, man. I'm gonna get that <laughs> motherfucker. Alright, so it does leave uh, Phoenix and Morgana's uh, range of attack, so both of you make a weapon attack against it. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, you get to roll again? Yeah. Yeah, you get to roll Whenever attack because it's running right. out of your. Yeah, it's just booking it. It's not even trying to... It's called an opportunity, opportunity attack. attack. Mm -hmm. Look, yeah. Sweet. Mmm. Sadly, nope. Um, it, it ducks and dodges. Damn. Who taught him how to fight? Jesus. Not gonna die. All right. It's because Keanu he had to get around the body the That's as far as he gets. Okay, so okay. my turn then. Yeah, Mac, you're up. You got eyes on it. All right, I am gonna move right here. Uh huh. Okay. And I'm gonna, I'm aiming for legs. All right. Are oh, you going for a wound? I'm going. I'm. I'm slowing him down, man. I'm slowing him <clears> down. <throat> Take your shot. I was gonna take a kill. Arrow flies, it goes uh, a little off to the side. You hear it clink. <laughs> In the background, you hear, uh, you hear an echo. Hey, that almost hit me. Shit. <laughs> Man, else was about to die. Oh, I'm curious about this noise, man. This, yeah. this voice, man. I'm more upset that the three frontliners have just let a goblin go. <laughs> I went, Shut up! I that was to, my first I went to fucking drop the fucker at least. So, so he surprised me by running. All right. Mm -hmm. You're up. I can't do anything. I'm just. I'm gonna, gonna piss in this corner. You can I'm run in forward. Real quick. I'll be at right least back. try to catch up with us. <laughs> uh, so we got five, ten, fifteen, twenty. I can't really move. I'll be right back too. Because uh, that that gives that cuts my turn in half. So that's twenty feet. So I really can't do anywhere else. That's essentially all I actually can do. Bummer. I went all the way there. Yeah, because I haven't got any techniques to like dash or anything like that. So. Uh, actually, uh, it is if you read under um, what is that section? You can take your. You under can do list of terms and conditions. Uh, movement and double movement. So you can you move you move thirty spaces and then take your action to move another thirty spaces. You just won't be yeah, able to attack. The, yeah, so you can choose to use your action to dash, which is basically your sprinting. Yeah, I, but I still won't catch up, and even if I did catch up, I couldn't do anything. So. <laughs> well, you don't catch up. You uh, can well, actually, block he ran in the way. Body and he, he, there's also more bodies in the way. Yeah. Yeah. So he Not to mention, you, you used to have kind of blocked that little corner. Yeah, yeah. You, you three are kind of in the way. Told you it was a bad idea to fight in this hallway. <laughs> Oh, to be fair, All we right. couldn't get out of the hallway. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. 
moon. Yeah. I'm glad I didn't move up as far as I wanted to. A lot of the there for it now. A lot of the action now seems to be towards the front. Yeah, I gotta get moving. I just feel like that. Uh, with your movement, you can still get to one of these two squares in between. Yeah, I could. I am back. Yeah, yeah, get in front of me, Moon Man. That way I can keep the rear. Oh. I don't All think right. you want That's it. to be clear in the rear. Why? It's a happy surprise for me. <laughs> <laughs> Might not be so happy for the guy in front of me, but you know. Um, I will say this. If you want Moon, you can attempt to cast an Eldritch Blast at the Goblin. But you are shooting around a corner and past Morgana, so the goblin will officially have half cover. Meaning it's going to be a little harder to hit him. Thank you, Crazy. Let me uh, uh, disadvantage. No, it's just the problem. The uh, armor class is actually kicked up. Oh, ah, okay. So it sounds like a disadvantage. <laughs> it, it basically is. <coughs> hmm. All right. You know, let's try it. All right, let me check this so I can see what you rolled. Roll for damage. Come on, more than seven. God. Oh, damn it. wow. <laughs> damn. Wow. On a D10. <laughs> You rolled a one. <laughs> Only Moon can shoot an Eldritch Blast to hit round a corner and do fuck all. Yep. Scratched him. <laughs> and you just see the scratch the side of him. They're like, ah. There's plenty more where that came from. Plenty more what? <laughs> all right, Phoenix, you're up. All right. Uh, leap over this dead goblin. And attack him. Right. I am back. Wait a minute. Welcome I'm back. back. Phoenix, roll for attack. Hey. And I am going to just chop his fucking head off. Go ahead and roll for the damage. Yeah, I'm done on it. Very nice. Oh. All right. Nice. So you see him leap past the dead goblin body, sword raised, swinging clean across the back of the head, swap, decapped. Decapitation. The day has won. Got him. <coughs> he did not get away. Okay. All right. And that, for the moment, will bring us out of combat. Hey, can we can I loot the bodies now? Uh, you guys can attempt to loot them. All right, I want to loot the bodies and see what I can find on them. Everyone looting bodies, roll an investigation. I'm gonna go. Oh, I lost an arrow too. Into this room. You did lose one arrow. Yes, I did. Oh, arrows. Into this hallway. Whatever's yeah, I found over here. a wallet. Nothing in it. <laughs> so I, Dude. I would like to to see. Can I look around for any or for any of my lost or like a lost arrow? I'll say roll investigation. Okay. Mom. All right. So Moon, uh, oh, as you start checking bodies, you just find rusted, almost not worth anything scimitars. Um, some really poorly kept bows that are strained very funny. Um, just some odds and ends, some rotted slabs of meat on them. They didn't really carry a lot on them. No. Uh, Lord McClure, not really much else. The only thing you find strange is one of them had a, what seems a lock of someone's hair. No. <laughs> not sure why it has this. <laughs> uh, Phoenix even 
far left, you actually notice that some of the scimitars are actually chipped and cracked. Oh, junk. All right. Uh, Mac, you actually are able to search the bodies and actually find quite a bit of arrows left over that are actually pretty usable. Uh, one moment. Please. You find an additional 14 arrows that you can use. Jesus. Uh, so 18 plus 14, <coughs> 32. But are they fire arrows? <laughs> no, they're standard arrows. I know. I'm just making a reference back in the shop. Damn, man, 32 <laughs> arrows now? Holy shit. Hey. You did a good job of searching them. You feel like, hey, what are, are these useful? Yep, they are. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, specials right there. So All right. Move yeah, go ahead and move you guys uh, into any of those uh, squares I'm about to reveal right now in the end. Anywhere. Into there. Um. Uh, Phoenix, did you want to be somewhere particular over there? There you go. Mm. Can I look around for traps or any loot or... Um, I'll say as you guys walk into this room, give me one second here. I was admiring the hordes of corpses we had left behind. Those corpses will give us experience points. I think Morga yeah. Morgana has the most kills. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to ask as well. Do we share the experience points or only from the amount we kill? No, we share. We share. I'll tell you how much after the uh, we conclude the session. I'm making a scene. All right. So as you guys get into here, uh, you find a rather disturbing scenario. You find yourself in a rather large room. There seems to be a altar on the side, and you find three individuals and one guy that appears to be rotting a bit. And you just hear a rather large man in front of you, well dressed, holding uh, a rapier to uh, this girl that he seems to be holding on this uh, set of steps yeah, with, with a glowing me. circle below them. Uh, she appears to be unconscious. She's like, "Step back, any closer, and I kill the girl." You hear the uh, an angry hooded person behind him. Do not kill her yet. You notice the zombie that uh, is obviously in the corner is just kind of standing there, just waiting. <clears throat> huh. uh, I, well, are we going to combat again, or...? Not just yet. The, the large man here has a weapon pointed to the girl in yeah. front of him, who's unconscious. And he's threatening that he will kill her, but this person behind him is saying, do not kill her yet. Uh, so essentially, he's bluffing. Either that or the demon Maybe. wants him for a specific reason. I say demon. I mean person. Yep. They seem to be just kind of staring at you, uh, you all at this moment. Trying to get a read on what's going on here. I want to do something, but I'm afraid he'll kill her. That's a risk you might have to take. I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Either way, we interrupt their. Um, but wait, but say, wait. Anyway, we interrupt their their ritual. If we have a bowman, yeah. he's holding a knife. I got. If Smokey uh, takes, if Smokey disables the hand, he cannot touch the nuke. I mean, stab the girl. Um, actually, to clarify what you are seeing, he is holding a rapier. I don't know what a rapier is. <laughs> it's, it's a. a uh, 
if Loki you ever hits him in the head, we win. <laughs> Safe mode game and match. Yeah. Are we able to move at all to change our position, or is this the pecking order that we're in? Uh, this is just the way you enter the room. If you wish to uh, move, just kind of see where you're about you're moving to. For reference, uh, I just want to move to the square just above Smokey, just in case. So I'm moving over here. Yeah. Right, as you move that way, you see the rather large man kind of rotates a bit. And with the weapon kind of still pointed at her throat, I warn you, I will do it. And you hear the person behind him again. I swear if you do. I'm ready, you will be the as one well. there. Right. Uh, but we're, we're all still combat ready though, like because we never did yeah. we never put yeah, so we're still yeah, you guys are all weapons drawn, yes. Yeah. Um I mean uh, I ultimately on, my, what spell I, are you ready? Sacred Flame. Does Sacred Flame have any vocal or somatic components? Yes. You are standing behind Mac? But if you wish to do that, I'm going to have to ask you to roll a sleight of hand to keep them from noticing what you're doing. Okay. Sleight of hand. Oh, yes. Yes. Negative one. Let's go, guys. <laughs> you better roll high. <laughs> ah, sweet Jesus. God damn it. Oh. Killer. So as you move, begin moving, you notice that the um, both the individuals in the room see what you're doing, and you're the old man. I warned you! Whack! Clean through her throat. She drops to the ground, and there's a lot of blood. Oh. Uh, you know the guy behind him. I told you not to do it. I now need everyone to roll initiative again. Ah! Ah! Oh God! <laughs> So what the person, she's hit zero points, right? She is officially hit zero, yes. Okay. If she completely hey, what are, what are we, dead, we'll fight. Do I gotta roll? Uh, the thing you oh, did crap. the first time, you click your character and then hit the word initiative on your sheet. Roll high, Morgana. Roll high. <laughs> <laughs> initiative. Yep. Uh, that's about right. A f four. Oh, God. We oh wow! Have much luck in this after, after all these attempts. <laughs> I just also like to point out, Morgana, that he potentially should just kill the kidnapped girl. I know. When we get back, you're telling the father that you let her die. He's okay. dead. <laughs> he is. Oh, yeah. What matter is he dead? <laughs> I was wondering what that was in the second. <laughs> Oh, in the afterlife. Okay. Like, what, what are you doing here? <laughs> I was asking. I was getting ready to ask the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, you fucktard. <laughs> Phoenix, you're up first. Okay. Guess I will move here to attack the zombie. Damn, I'm behind like everyone. And You're running up on the zombie? Can yep. healing the zombie damage said zombie? I'm gonna split his head in half. That's an important thing you can find out. Yeah, that can't work. That heals. That'll hit. All right, you carve a nice slash into it. Doesn't seem to really phase it much. Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, we're fucking. I know, crazy. It's it's awesome. All right. Do you do you see the rather large man step around, come this way, and he's about to um, 
uh, stab Mac, and he's screaming, You will not take this opportunity away from me! So I have yeah. to defend myself. Uh, Mac, on your character sheet it says your armor class. You are currently holding your bow, correct? Yes. So your armor class is actually be two numbers less than what it appears to be? Does a 19 equal it, or it's higher? It's higher. Alright, so you do take the hit. Alright. He thrusts in. You weren't expecting him to rush you. Comes in, gives you a clean pierce right into your left quad muscle. You take 9 points of piercing damage. Ooh, oh, ouch. Dude, I'm almost dead, dude. I got like 2 points left. You might want to use that health potion. Yeah, I... Can I do that now? No, on yeah. your turn, you can. On my next turn? Or on my turn, I can? Yeah. Alright. That brings us to the zombie. You gotta pray this guy don't come at you. It attempts to uh, swing its arms at Phoenix. Uh, Phoenix, does an 18 hit? No, I have 19. Alright. You just bring up your shield. <clears throat> Just studs against the wood. Dumbass. How motherfucking armor do you have? It gives you 19. <laughs> Mac. Yep. My this turn. Is oh, it's okay. your turn. I'm gonna take that healing potion first off. Alright. Go ahead and pop it and chuck it. Keep in mind that will be your action to drink it. Okay. So it's a D4, right? Or how many D4s? Um, actually, let me go ahead and bring that up, because I forgot to add that to his journal. Oh, no, it is in his journal. Uh, healing potion. Uh, when you drink this potion, regain 2d4 plus 2 hit points. So roll 2 of those d4s and add 2. So I need to roll... So I, I go d4 too, right? Yes. So, plus oh, two, so you gain five. You gain five health yep. points? Yep. Seven. What's your max hit points? My max was 11. Alright, that'll be your turn. Yep. Oh, I can move still, can I? Uh, you can, but since your action was used to drink the potion... He will get another opportunity to swing at you. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm gonna stay where I'm at. <laughs> All right. Best chance for all last hit. <laughs> all right. Uh, you see the the hooded figure in the back of the room look at the the rather large nobleman that just uh stabbed Mac uh look at him and go You pompous greedy fool you've ruined everything oh. And he's going to cast a spell This guy Uh, he will look at, I need to double check the, uh, abilities of the spell. Yeah. Uh, <coughs> okay. Let's see, distance. He's going to cast this, and... Lord McClure, you feel a strange sensation coming over you. Oh, fuck. I need you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh. Should be right there yeah. next to your skills in your uh, armor class. Did you say wisdom, you? Yeah, I'll say wisdom. Oh. Oh. 
Oh, is it not? Okay, how do I see the saving throw? There's a box that says saving throw. It's above your skills. Yeah, it'll be on towards the, left, the upper left point. of your character sheet. Like, just under your name and to the right. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, oh, God, it's even worse! <laughs> <laughs> I went to the first one! <laughs> oh. oh, shit. Dang. So, McClure, all of a sudden, you're pretty infatuated with this hooded figure. You're not sure what it is about him. You feel drawn to them. You trust them. You would do anything for them. You've been affected by the spell of Charm Person. Uh, Dia, so are you good. sure it's not the other way around? <laughs> no, that was against you. Uh, I wish it was. I'm going to kick right. McClure's ass, don't we? Right. You, uh, you attempt to charm a humanoid you see within range. It makes a wisdom saving throw and does so with advantage if you are the, uh, your great... Oh. You did roll twice. Oh, uh, no. Roll, roll it one more time. Oh, it's better. Oh. Never mind, you're good. You feel it come on in, you're like, ah, no, no. Okay, no, I'm not I'm not doing this today. Like he's not my type. You had <laughs> advantage, luckily. Ooh. Yep. Oh, man, just, mmm. That would have so been horrible. horrible. <laughs> oh, yes, because you would have been turning on the party. <laughs> I was saying, we would have had to kick your ass. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> not before I kicked Max's ass. Alright, Moon, you're up. Yeah. On a cast spell. Alright, what do you got for us? Let's see, let's do... Oh. Eldritch Blast. And Noble's right. face. Blast! We'll see you move off this side, we'll see you have a clear shot. With the 12? Oh, I ain't hitting anybody. Nope, he goes... Phew. It just splashes. Splash. Okay. Oh. Hold that thought. Alright. Guys, we might die here. We just killed our victim. And who thought that, Morgan? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Okay, I might have a way to I might have a way to save her. So don't I ain't ever letting you live. I don't care if you save her. You are never living this one down. <laughs> Shut up. This will be four years down the line. Like, hey guys, do you remember the first time we ever went on a quest together? And Morgan here. <laughs> oh, I'm oh, not dead. Not grand like care. kids of this story. <laughs> I'm like your grandfather was a great, great hero. But on my first quest, <laughs> <laughs> there was a stranger called Morgan. Shut right. up. Lord McClure, Captain Morgan. She, she would, uh, she, she would kill <laughs> McClure. I'm stronger than McClure. Like She's a freaking angel. <laughs> She's bad, bad. Which I am blessed by a deity. Now, I'm going to do something. Oh, I, I want to know if I can do something with this because okay. um, I have to physically touch the person to heal them, don't I? Um, for healing hands. Or lay, on, hands? lay on hands. Yes, you have to touch them. Right, but see, because <laughs> I'm within. I think at a higher level, you don't have to. Great, see, great. Because I'm within touch and range of both Phoenix. Ah, Phoenix. Fuck off, Phoenix. You can die. <laughs> I'm, I'm at full health. health. It's not gonna do any good. Of, uh, uh, Morgan and Max. Am I able to use lay of hands on both of them? Uh, no, it'd be on the one. Who has the lower hit points? Actually, no. I'm gonna use. Uh, oh. I'm gonna use it on Mac because he's got the lower armor class. Lay of hands. Lay of hands. Sorry. Okay. And how many points are you pumping into him? Um. What's your? What's he at? Seven. At seven, yeah. Uh, four. Okay. I am full health. Mac, you're topped off. Uh, is so. that ending your turn, or are you moving around, or? Um. I'm going to move... Oh, no. Yeah, no, actually, I'm going to move in front of Mac, just in case. Right right next to the, right up next to the Noble? Yeah, and that's going to end my turn. Right. Morgana, you're up. 
She's pissed now. She runs up to him. Um, places her hand on his face. Die now. And I deal him six wounds. Uh, okay. Alright, yeah, you hit him. Roll for damage. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, god damn. Mm. Oh. That's... that's 3d10 oh, necrotic hit. damage. You guys watch as Morgana reaches up to reach this man's face. He's like, how dare you? As his whole skin occurs to crumple and turn gray and sink in. And at one moment you saw a rather uh, heavy, cheeky looking fatty noble. And now you have what looks like a husk of a person and just whoop, drops to the ground. Oh. <laughs> As you guys I look mean, on, going, oh, shit. I mean, we could have talked this out, but no. <laughs> <laughs> Queen B over here tried to use sacred flame, and then Fatty over here was like, nope, fuck you guys. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got Mr. Undead and Mr. Hooded Figure, who I have a slight suspicion I want to kill slightly more than everyone else here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Phoenix, you're up. So, real quick, McClure. Uh, crazy says we have to kill you for the greater good. <laughs> just kill you, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> he literally right. just saved Matt here. Okay. <laughs> Lay on hand. All right. Really Anyways, <laughs> I'm gonna let McClure handle the zombie. I'm gonna go after Mister Wizard over here. I think we should let uh, Brooke go after. Oh, she, she, any more spells, unfortunately. she got to just obliterate the nobleman. I want to take this fucker out. We have a brook. <laughs> we have a brook. <laughs> well, I have more spells, and I can do that for a spell at a higher level. Right. Are you attacking the mage there? Yeah, I'm going to try to cut him in half. All right. Take his wall. Oh. Please net 20, please net 20. Oh, close enough. Alright, roll for damage. You were one off from a net 20. Oh, god damn it. Alright. He's a fighter later on in 19 becomes critical. He uses the staff in his opposite hand to try and guide your blade, but ends up cutting a bit of his forearm. All right, uh, Noble's dead. All right, zombies are coming up behind. Ah, like, oh, Phoenix is being sandwiched by the enemy. Yep. Uh, the enemy is being sandwiched by Mc by Phoenix and McClure. I'm assuming a 17 does not hit. Nope. No. Yep. All right. Yeah, this sounds like a fucking. All right, Mac. You watch the noble one fall, and he looks like he's had worst day he'll ever have. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Oh, is it my it's my turn, isn't it? Yeah, it's your turn. Okay, so I'm gonna move up next to McLure up here and fire at that zombie-looking son of a bitch with my bow. Alright. Get a headshot. Remember to destroy the brain. Good hit. What? As you fire your arrow, you see it pierce through the back of it and sink pretty far in there. And if you can see the other side, it's sticking out the other end. You see a stop just, just looking down at the arrow probably out of its chest. Oh shit. Okay, well that didn't work. <laughs> you know the laws of zombie, Mac. You aim for the head. You should have I literally just I literally just said that before you fired. <laughs> Alright, where's the bitch? Let's see what you got. 
wizard right. didn't just touch your death because he stops. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! All right. So, as you uh, rush him and scratch him, he's like, "Hold that thought." And he's going to cast a spell at you. Oh dear. That's what I got for you. It's a D turn. <laughs> Only will my boot go up your ass, but so will my sword. Right. Uh, Phoenix, I need you to roll me a, also a wisdom saving throw. Now watch out for that enemy skill, frog song. That puts you to sleep and turns you into a frog. You're about to bring your, your sword again for another swing, and you're like, Ugh. my body won't move. You're on the effect of hold person. You are currently paralyzed. Shit. Fuck. Uh, my clerk. Fuck. You better take him out. Moon, you're up. Moon man's turn. Moves off to the is, side. Is like dropping my shield, Sean, an action, or is it just? I would say putting it away would be an action, but just flat out dropping it, no. Okay, because that's what I would have had to do to do in Torch Flames. All right. You need both hands? Eldritch. I have a Warhammer in the other. On the ah, zombie. Yeah, okay. So your shield's on the ground then. Yeah. Because you don't have that thing yet where you can cast with a shield in your other hand too, huh? God no. damn it. No, nope. mm -hmm. sorry, Moon. It goes wide. Not having luck with those. The mm. uh, to save the day. Yeah, right. Um, Hopefully, watch <laughs> a miss. I'm going. I'm. I'm going to run forward next to Phoenix, and I'm going to attack the hooded figure who I have a suspicious feeling I want to kill now. All right, roll for attack. Ah, oh, fuck. That will hit. Oh, thank God. Come on. Roll for damage. Oh. Hey, he's a mage. He's kind of squishy. We don't know what kind of mage he is, though. All right. You carve a good uh, one into his right shoulder. He's like, ah, not now. Hmm. We're gonna. It looks like they're having a little bit of trouble up there. All right, release, I go. Release Can I go to Morgana. This way? Like through these guys? Straight forward? Uh, let's see. I'd be careful not to step on her. Um, moving through them, you'd have to stop there. There? Yeah, I don't one, two, three, four. You could go around. Uh, oh, yeah, I could go five, this way. 10, 15, 20, 20. Yeah, you can make okay. it that way. And to here? Either right there or even right there, but if you stop there and move there, the zombie will smack you. Oh, I'm gonna move right to there. Five, ten. Okay, yeah, now you're good. You can actually move clear around. Hey, All right. So now I only have my warhammer in my hand, so I'm double fisting it. Got it. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm wink. using war priest. <laughs> So I can use two attacks, one bonus action, one regular action. Uh, when you attack. Okay. Yeah, if you get me from being paralyzed, that'd be. If you could do that. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's so... how you got paralyzed in the first place. Uh, get him in actually. I did have to roll to see if you were unparalyzed from the clear's attack. Sadly, not quite. Hmm. Spell still holds. Okay. Oh, All right. So here's the first one. <laughs> That'll hit. And the second one. Ooh, nice. Boom. That also hit. Okay. Attack for the first one. Do not fuck with a war priest. All right. And the second one. So, you swing, give him one to the gut, one to the back of the head. He 
drops to one of his knees. You can hear him struggling to see. He's like, he's not quite dead. Guys, kill him. Now, as for the spell, uh, Phoenix, you have movement again. Yay, I can. Which is exactly what I'm going to do. Alright. He goes on that one. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, fucking jinx me, McClure. Not uh, quite. Oh, uh, what do you expect? Uh, I expect him to miss after being paralyzed. He's got physical therapy. <laughs> Psychological damage. <laughs> yep. Yeah, nope. Seems the mage had one less trick up his sleeve using his quarter staff to just smack the blade aside. Zombies in an attempt to hit Phoenix in the back again. Bastard. There's a 22 hit. 22? Yeah, I'll hit. You take six points of bludgeoning damage and it just smacks you upside the back. He's got his handy dandy McClure! Alright, uh, Mac, you're enough. back up. Okay. Right. So just by temporary hit points? I'm six? I'm gonna step back down here and aim for the back of this fucking zombie head. With the good old bow. Alright. That'll hit. Ooh. Damn it. <clears throat> Mouse is acting funny. How do I do the, the hit points? I just put in temporary hit points or you watch the uh, arrow fly Whack. stick uh back through the back of the skull and you see the head turn right as the arrow is sticking out of its mouth. And you watch as his whole body turns and rotates towards you. Oh, right shit, now it's the mage's cool. turn. Fuck. It's coming after me next. Uh, how do I do the, the hit points? So, so far I've lost two arrows. Just, do you not just pull down your... Uh, pull down? No, do you not just reduce your hit points on the character sheet? What did you do or did you put in temporary? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, just reduce like, just temp buffs. Temporary would be for like buffs and that or deep. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. You see him there for a second. He's like, "Can't let it end like this." And then, or suddenly, a uh, leftover look of mist where he was. Oh, son of a bitch! Oh, he just escaped. And he reappears, ten feet behind Mac. Ooh. Oh no! And he's trying to make a run for the exit. Oh, like fuck. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, so Get him, my man! Oh, I will. I choose you, Elden Rich Blast. Rich Blast. <laughs> Come on, my man. Oh, Hold down to you, my man. Hold down to you. Pressure's on. Yes. Yes. That'll hit. All right. Get that on. damage. Get Not a damage. one. Damage. Come on. Damage time. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> Three's better than a one. You see it hit him square in the back. <gasps> nice. Yes. yes. Good job, Moon Man. Clear, get that zombie. Now we gotta get that zombie. Okay, crazy. So real quick. With his dying breath, you hear the mage turn and look at the zombie. Finish the job. Oh. McClure, you're up. I'm going to attack a zombie now. <laughs> Go for it. I got a lot of with this shit. 
<laughs> wow. That was good. Your staff will hit. He watches the zombie. Crumples. We all made it out alive. Zombie dead. Baby's dead. Uh, Can I run up to this girl? Noble's dead. Girl's dead. Right. I'll say go ahead and run up to her. And if I, I can, I want to use Spare the Dying. I'd like to try to use the seven magic dry moss. Let me see from here. There you go. Uh, I, like how, I like how it says, touch a living creature that has zero hit points. Ah, yeah, that it, creature's that now dead. That makes a lot of fucking sense, don't it? <laughs> I'm over dead. Well, it's essentially <laughs> saying, like, zero a zombie. Hit points, you're unconscious. At zero hit points, you're unconscious. Yeah, but she got stabbed. So, yeah, I don't, yeah, I'm, I'm trying, but I don't know. Please insert The good news yeah. is that that was a valiant effort. The bad news is she bled out before the fight was over. Mm. Damn it. Oh, we didn't save her. No, just not quite fast enough. Should have done it right after I killed that guy. Yeah, mm -hmm. that would have yeah. been a perfect that time. Waited too long. Fuck. I did. But then we are also at the point where if she did heal, someone would have to keep with, stay with her to protect her. Yep. Yep. I would like to search these bodies for anything um, that could tell us about our investigation. Hey. I want to search the hooded hey. figure because I have a sinking feeling I know him. I'm gonna search the nobleman. I'll take right, go ahead, nobleman. guys. Uh, it's it, it's Smoky Scroll. If you're gonna search anything, move to where you're going to search. Go ahead and roll an investigation check as well. Um, I'm right where I want to be. All right, Team. Moon, you're going back to the hallway. Yeah. No, I'll at least get the girl's body problem. ready for transport, so we can at least take it back to the village. All right, so, uh, Smokey, or we'll start with, no, we'll do it in order, we we clear. As you check the maze body, all you find is what looks like, um, a beaded bracelet that you suspect may have been the, uh, focus that the mage was using for his magic. Uh, his quarterstaff looks redeemable, but nothing too special looking. Uh, you did, however, find something interesting on his body. You find what looks like a pearl and a scroll. Did I find any, like, tattoos or markings on him? Um, I'll see if that score you did find on the back of his hand is the exact marking that you remember being told about uh, by the broker. The skull ah. with the jawless bottom, purple black cylinders behind it. Nothing knew it! Knew it! Oh, okay. knew it. Alright, and then what other rules were there? Mine wasn't very uh, good. Smokey, the only thing you found um you're searching the nobleman, correct? Yes. Uh, the only thing you could find that caught your attention immediately was strapped to his side what looked like a tankard that didn't look like your average, like, you know, beer tankard. 
Can I uh, yeah. investigate this tankard more? Can I pull it off his body and look at it? Yeah, sure. You can just look it over. Okay. Do I have to roll anything? No. As you no. pull it off and look at it, you realize there's um towards the front of it, the opposite the uh, opposite the hand you would hold it from. There's a very stern-looking carving of a person's face in the side of it. I mean, it's not hateful looking, but you find it kind of it. It kind of sticks out on a nobleman's person. It doesn't seem like something you'd expect him to carry. I show it to the group. And everyone can see that he has some kind of tankard in his hand. Uh, let's see here. Phoenix, as you dig a little deeper, you find what looks like a small potion and a small gray bag. Can I open the bag? As you open the bag, it appears to be ordinary. Uh, you don't immediately see anything. Did you really put that in there? Or actually, hold on. You can't really see into it. Okay. Alright, well. Do you do anything with it? Guess I'll pocket them? Alright. So just make a side note that right now you have a gray bag on you and some random potion. Uh, Mac, make a note that you have some random tankard on you. And McClure, make note of uh, you have a scroll with you and a pearl. Alright. Uh, Moon, you have dark vision, correct? Yeah. What is your passive perception? It's a should be at the very bottom of all your abilities on the left side of your character sheet. I think I'm on the wrong side. There you go. What? Put the hand back. I'm back. Well, I gotta go use the restroom real quick too. I'll be right back. All right, what's one? Did I miss anything while I was away? Ah, uh, no, I just read a what am I supposed to be looking for? potion in a great bag. <clears throat> Passive wisdom perception? No. Uh, Probably be right, What was your passive? What? I don't even know what I'm supposed to be looking for. Uh, it's on the far left of your character sheet. You see all your ability scores below that, like passive perception, see. or pa or passive wisdom. Oh, passive yeah. wisdom. It's a thirteen. Is that 13? thirteen? And then it says pass passive wisdom perception on your character sheet, my man. Yeah, 13. Yeah, that's your 13, passive okay. perception. All right. All right, let me check something here. Of course, your uh, headphones are. All right. So, Moon Man, what did you roll in your investigation? You went back to check the goblin body, right? Yeah. As you're checking the goblin body, you don't find anything, but then you do notice you hear a strange sound and then you also notice a strange thin kind of line leaning from the goblin body going up and as you turn and look up you realize oh that's what that was as you then see I can get this thing to work on the ceiling. Ah, motherfucker. Uh, giant spider. The guy so. is a spider. <laughs> Good job, man. don't have to worry about rolling, but these things do. <laughs> All 
back. Can I take a drink of health potion real quick? Uh, I'll say sure while you were doing that, you can go ahead and down the health potion. Just mark off the used one. Okay. Uh, how much does it... I think you've got more pressing concerns, Moon. Um, <laughs> do I have to roll to see the hit points or whatever? Uh, yes. Uh, oh. for that health potion, it's 2d4 plus 2. Take it somebody must have rolled for me. Uh, no, we're keeping the same uh, from before. Oh, from before. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. All right. So four and three. Yeah, if you guys had stuck around back there with the goblins a bit longer, you would have ran to that. <laughs> Dude, so pretty much my health is full again. All right. So, Phoenix. You'll be up first. Right. Let me mark off that I drank that. We should be able to get up to the spider right here. Uh, if you move up to there, luckily the ceiling here is kind of low, so this uh, spider is within melee range. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to try to get this one off. Alright, roll the attack. That'll oh, hit. Nice. Nice. Damage. You do uh, get a good slash in, only hacking out off a piece of one of the legs, and it is kind of squeaming and squirming. All right. Mac, you're up. Oh. Oh, let's see here. Uh, we got spiders, yeah? Yep. They're hanging off the ceiling, and you have a clean shot. They're hanging off the ceiling. Oh, I'm yep. going to take a shot at that middle one right in front of Phoenix there. With right. the bow. Make your uh, shot. That'll hit. Get a good shot around where its eyes are, and you get and drop to the floor. So I'm down an arrow. All right. And then I think I'm going to move. To the other side of McLure. Right, move over there. That'll be my turn. Right, this fire is going to move on the ceiling. Uh, moon man. Walk down and come up behind moon. Oh, shit. Alright, so tip to bite. I'll bite the fucker back. <laughs> Alright, Moon, does an 18 hit you? What? Sure, I'm already. Uh, should say armor class towards the top middle of your sheet. Like a shield. Armor class is 11. Yep, so this will hit. Alright, uh, I need you to make a constitution saving throw. I just click it? No. I yeah, there should be, uh, 
It should be a small box that says saving throws. You'll yeah. hit the word constitution in that one. Let's see. Uh... Okay. Uh, Moon Man, you take seven points of piercing damage and five points of poison. <laughs> Oh. Wait, how much? Seven piercing and five poison. Uh, Probably dead. Yeah, you dead. Uh, yeah. All right. So does the that drop you to zero or past zero? Let's see. I'm at ten. My, my HP is 10. Yeah, right. so, <laughs> drop, so first, drop your HP to zero. Uh, however, since the poison damage did reduce you to zero, you are considered poisoned. Or, hold on, reduces. So, okay, no, so you're not, you're not dying. You are stable because the poison brought you to zero, but you are poisoned for an hour. Uh, Brock, you you're probably gonna have to help real fast. <laughs> yeah. Right. Um, okay. Alright, then there's this one. It's a crawl across the ceiling. I'm gonna you gotta behind Phoenix. You gotta drop your HP down to This was an attempt to bite Phoenix. Alright. Motherfucker? Uh, 18. <laughs> oh, will not hit. No, mine's 19. Oh, right, will you're not good. Hit. Lucked out. Alright, that brings us to the one that died. So. Alright, Moon, his turn. You are stable, but you are unconscious. McClure. Let me sleep. Um, well, I'm gonna rush in. Uh,. Here. All right. I am going to attack the one that's attacking Phoenix. All right. So the ones that are attached to the ceiling, go for it. Uh, yeah, that one. Well, yeah, that one in between me and Phoenix. Sixteen. Nice. <laughs> That'll hit. Eight. Yes. You give it a really nice slash across the back of the abdomen. It squeaks and squirms and turns around. Come on, my bra. That brings us to the other spider. That one's gonna come across the ceiling. It's also a take uh, attack at Phoenix. Oh, be nice if I actually click the attack. Uh. Uh. That's also gonna miss as it tries to get at him and he blocks with the shield. Ah, we're gonna hear it. the first one. You need to get the spider by the moon. Oh, you didn't, you didn't die, moon man. Yeah, you're stable. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. You can get to him right there, but you'll have a spider next to you. Tough choice. Did he stay? How long will he stay stable for? Or how long does that last? An hour, whatever. An hour uh, if you're stable, you're, you're fine. You're good. So that he's not like bleeding An hour out. And 60 minutes. Yeah. Because what it is, is the poison running through his system. I'll go to the spider. Welcome back, crazy. Listen All right. Back. Listen back, and I'll crazy. kill it. Oh, well, attempt to kill it. Yeah. If you have a giant hammer, you'll kill it. Yeah, like whack-a-mole. Whack-a-mole. That'll hit. No worries. Come on, real big, real big. Alright, you get a good solid hitting, kind of breaking the connection to a couple of its legs. It's kind of squeaming, turn around, and like hit you with two as it's like, it's like, flinching at you like, back, back. <laughs> Phoenix, you're back up. Growl at it. All right, I'm going to attack the one just above me. All right. Try not to kill that spider. I got to bite that fucker back. 
Because they ain't getting done until they're all dead. <laughs> Which will definitely hit. That'll hit. You hack off two of its legs, and it's using the other ones to try to move around. Constantly bearing its front talons at you. Mac? Yeah, I bite back, bitch. All right. This guy, he's going to step over to the side real quick. He's going to fire an arrow at the one directly in front of Mr. McGluer. All right. Battle hit. You think another one clean into the back side of it. Yeah. Hit the ground. This guy's glad there's an archer around. Yeah, especially since you've been hitting so much. Mm-hmm. All right. It's a shame that zombie didn't go down as quick, though. I know. I know, right, damn zombie? <laughs> but you might want to reclaim those arrows. We could use a paladin, though. Oh, wait, we have one. Uh, yeah, sure. Until the battle's over. Hey, I hate you, Matt. You're fine. All right, spider after being attacked is gonna turn and turn on Morgana. That is not gonna hit. Oh thank God. That spider's dead. Moon is stable. AC's only a 16 right now because I dropped my shield. I'm I'm gonna try and attack the spider between me and Morgana. All right, roll for attack. Ooh. There you go. That'll hit. No, yes. Squish. <laughs> spider squish and tap. And you watch the spiders cleave into two pieces. A lot and of bugs I, on this one. Plus, uh, plus side is I ain't climbing over these bugs to get out. <laughs> All right, last spider's up. Is to make one last attempt at trying to bite Phoenix. Nope, that's not gonna hit either. Morgana, get back up. Good job, Spider. I'm gonna get right here so I have a direct diagonal mm -hmm. to him. I'm gonna flame broil this guy. Sick. You're oh. flame it. Uh, Brooke's, like Brooke's like making lunch. Hmm. Guys right. hungry? <laughs> <laughs> it's a good dexterity save of 13. Uh, it passes the check. Damn. Well, he avoided my spell. Aw. We can afford to flame real special. He completely avoids it. There's no half damage with a sacred flame. Okay. So as he's coming in, just like... like Backs off onto a couple of legs, but she's just like. Phoenix, you're back up. Uh, let's finish this fucker off. This is one agile spider. Alright. Oh shit. No, That's not shit. a spider. <laughs> Fuck. That's Spider Man. That'll hit. Oh, good job, good job. Hit him, kill him, nice, kill him. Phoenix, come on. Eight. He's gone. And with a clean stab into the underside. <laughs> on the ground dead. These spiders didn't like us disturbing their babies. Nope. And that will end combat. And oh, I'm gonna search I, I'm gonna search the area for my arrows. And I I wanna uh, check roll investigation check if you wanna find it. I wanna check out this altar over here. Man, man. Twenty two motherfucker. Is... Yeah. Any arrows you spent this combat, you find them. I use I healing find hands I find them. I go and back give them one oh. hit point. All right. So as you give him one hit point, uh, Moon Man, you're back at one hit point. You are conscious, but you realize there's a problem. You can't move. You can't move. The poison is running through his system and has paralyzed him for about an hour. Okay, I got a question. Now we drag his ass out. Yep. I got a question. Um, mm -hmm. What's the difference between green and black numbers? Yeah. Oh, um, green oh. is a natural 20. Black is 
anything below a 20. And red is a nat one. Oh, yeah. Basically, oh. it's a critical hit or critical. Actually, yeah, it's called a, it's considered a critical success. Oh, okay. Yeah, because Phoenix yeah, got 22, um... but he got he gets a plus three. Yeah, but see, I got a green 22, so what's that mean? You got a nat you 20. You a 20, uh, and, and then you, you two. had plus 2 to your investigation. Oh, plus 2. Okay, yeah, I got cool. you, I got you. Yeah, so whenever you roll a 20, it'll be green. When it's red, it's a natural 1. Okay. I'll, I'll say this. When it's actually for rolling that... Um... I will say you noticed something about, um... And who are you talking to? Uh, you, actually. Oh, okay. Oh, he's as looking you're, at the altar. As oh. you're, yeah, as you're looking for the, um... For your arrows, and you're looking over the spiders, you realize, um... You've seen your fair share of spiders. But... Uh. These spiders, you... Don't remember seeing... This species before. Oh. Uh, I share these my knowledge don't belong with the group. Here. <coughs> I share my knowledge with the group. All right. The group is now aware that these spiders do not belong to this region. Motherfucker. Can I um you, uh use lay of hand on a uh, moon? Okay. How many points do you have? Um, I don't know how it works. I've got four left. You're one point short to remove the paralysis, but you can give him the ah. four back of his health. Yeah, no. Okay, I'll do that. I'll be clear. Yeah, so you just paralyzed for the better half of an hour. <laughs> <laughs> at least he, at least he yeah, makes, like, oh. at least he might survive. All right, we're we're dragging him out. Campfire, keep him warm. Warm, keep him warm. Jesus Christ. He got free paralyzed. You can just drag his sorry ass out. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Right, the rock. Ow. The rock. <laughs> now back to Phoenix. You're risking the altar? Yeah, just the altar and the surrounding area around. As you find the altar, you find a strange assortment of candles. Um, you do find the silver bowl and the silver dagger. Um, there's a couple of symbols drawn on the table. It seems to be in some kind of paint. Uh, the only thing you notice rather strange is the bowl is clean. There's nothing in it. And the knife is also clean. At best bet, do you think if you turn around and decide to sell both of them? You could probably get a nice couple gold out of both of them. Turn them. Good man. So, among the items that have been missing from the village, you don't see the dwarf's leg up here. Ah, I was hoping to get that. Uh, actually, I'll say, Morgana, as you were preparing the girl's body for transport, you didn't notice these rather odd, strange, um, misshapen shackles around her uh, arms and her legs. I noticed these misshapen what? Shackles. Things that hold their arms and legs together. They were oddly shaped. They obviously weren't I... made for that purpose to begin with. I take the shackles, so I can get them off of her. They're relatively easy to remove. They're crude, look kind of weird, but... Yeah. <clears throat> Maybe we meet somebody that will know more about them. Oh, All right. we hold on to it for now. Head back to town. 
Uh, you're all gonna try and make your way back to town? Yeah. Uh, yes. Alright. I, I would love yeah, to no. stay here I mean, for an hour. I mean, I think we should just drag his sorry ass back home. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, nah. Me and Lure <laughs> grab him. Grab him. Uh, I'll take the girl's body. Guys might move on with the shield, so he shuts up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> Alright, you're gonna transport the girl's body? Alright. Anything else you guys are taking with you? Um, I'm only taking drop. the stuff off of the... Uh... I didn't drop it. Hey, Brooke! Don't forget to grab your shield. Yes, thank you. I pick up my shield. Alright, she gets her shield. Yeah. I'm only taking the stuff I found off the uh, mage's body in the room. Yeah, yeah I'm I'm sorry, that's fine. Taking what I found. Okay. Bone belongings and then the okay. stuff off the. Shut up, Moo Man, you're poisoned. <laughs> <laughs> I will hit you with the round edge of the, the shield, not the flat edge. <laughs> Make this guy's fire bone. <laughs> So, it takes a good few hours, because it was quite a long ways to get here to begin with. But you do eventually make it back to the village. Um, are you returning the horses in the same evening, or are you going to do that on the... I was literally going to say, I was like, wait, did we just leave the horses in the cave? <laughs> Bye, uh, horses, thanks for the journey! I, I assume you guys took the horses, or else it would have took longer for you guys to get, yeah. Oh, yeah. get back. Um, I, I, say we, I say we return the horses. I just got a question. Uh, what time of day mm -hmm. is it? Um, if you guys stop to return the horses first, yep. it's going to be the very early morning. It's going to be like 3, 4 in the morning. So we oh, were boy, in that cave like all night. Unless you guys decide you want to stop and make camp first in the middle of the night and then in the morning. I say we make camp, man. We need to rest. Make camp outside of the cave, though. Yeah, outside, outside the, the cave. cave. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I guess well, away from it. <laughs> or yeah, yeah, you know, like not outside. right, at, you know, right in the entrance or nothing. Yeah, I don't want to be paralyzed and poisoned again. All right, so at least a good bit away from the entrance, but outside, out, out from the away from the tree line. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So y'all make your evenings camp. Uh, does anyone? Do we talk about anything in particular? Did anyone take first watch? I climb a nearby tree, take first watch. Okay. Alright, so Max on first watch. Okay. Uh, Max, as you're on first watch, make a perception check, please. Perception. Ooh, it's a good, it should be good. It's got a good. Come on. The night goes by pretty quickly couple hours go by nothing too strange every now and again you see some small game running through the woods in the night at one moment you saw you saw or heard something rather large going westward a bit but it seemed to move along and go somewhere else okay. all right who takes second watch i'll take second i'll take second watch no, screw you, Phoenix. I'll take it. Fine, I will go oh, use the restroom then. Get there. I'll be right back. <laughs> get your ass up. I'm getting out of this tree, and I'm gonna go. I, I gotta go and urinate next to uh, uh, the tent or something. I'll be right back too. All right. Good time. To uh, so Lord, Mc <laughs> uh, Lord McClure, as you're uh, taking watch, also make a perception check. Perception. Perception. That I have my perception, my persuasion. Oh, there it is. Ooh. <laughs> There's a lot of questions running through your head that seem like, but you don't notice anything out of the ordinary or anything happening right. All right. And with that, is there a third watch? No, two of them are taking a piss right now. <laughs> All right. We'll take up the third watch. All right. Go ahead and make a perception check as you take watch. Perception, perception. Uh, 
I don't see nothing. We're safe, guys. <laughs> other than that one. <laughs> it, 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 amidst all that, you, um... Fall asleep. It, it, instead of taking watch, you actually find yourself falling and laying back, um, into a sound sleep. I'm back. And you can swear you feel... feel really light, like something's... Like if you're just laying down on a cloud, and you swear you feel some nudging on your shoulders, and a voice whispering, "You're like, hey, um, you might want to get up soon. There might be trouble if you don't." Uh, fucking a. Get up. What? What happened? Right. As you get up, you realize that it feels like your watch is in. And you do hear some kind of sounds off to the west, a bit to the south. But it still sounds like it's a good bit away. Okay, I'll keep an eye that way. Oh, sleep on. Okay, what's your uh, passive? Oh, 13. All right. As you're there, just kind of shrugging off what little sleep you got for a moment there. Whatever was there seems to have left. Okay. Though you realize that you do feel a little stiff. It seems you kind of fell asleep against your shield. Ah. Alright, and a final watch? I'll take it. By this point, alright. Uh, Phoenix is on final watch. By this point, a long time ago, moved and you're actually able to speak and move now. No, I, uh, um, yeah. I let McCl or I let Phoenix know as I'm coming off watch that I heard a noise. All right, Phoenix. Uh, uh, wait, wait, who told me to wake up? You're sound asleep. Yeah, when you woke up and you looked around, there was no one around you. Everyone was asleep in their uh, bed rolls. Shouldn't we, uh, be charging up our spells? Uh, once we're technically over. resting? One up, yeah, one it's up. It's eight hours, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Um, so I let McCrory that I heard a noise over there, but I also had someone, I'll tell let him know that I fell asleep during my watch. For some reason, I was more tired than I thought. But somebody woke me up, and I don't know who did. So just be wary that there may be someone out there. I just realized that. I'm like, wait a second. Who woke me up? What the fuck? I'll stay with that in mind. Um, Morgana, by all means, roll a sin check. As you settle back down to sleep, thinking about, like, why did you wake up? What? Religion. And then Phoenix, go ahead and roll perception as you take final watch. I have a zero. You can't quite put your finger on it, but you want to say this is not the first time that's happened. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I think I know my experience now, but... Nope. Can't really make sense of anything happening out there right now. Maybe I, maybe I need to like sleep all day and be on all night watch, huh? <laughs> you're an elf. You, right. You're done in four hours. You're fine. Uh, yeah, I'm an elf as well. Yeah, yeah you guys, you guys were good. Four hour hours. That's true. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, with that, uh, it's the next morning. Uh, it's pretty bright and early. We'll see about. Feels like it's about seven. Uh, go ahead, any of you who have any um, missing spell slots, go ahead and reset those. I wake uh, up. Oh god, my eyes! <laughs> uh, McClure, you should be able to reset your uh, Divine Sense, as well as your points for uh, Leon Hands. Spells go to level back up. Just you weren't forgetting anything. Oh, that's I would about just right. like to point out, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one who never took any damage in any of that conflict. <laughs> that was the first one to 
go down. Oh no, uh, yeah. Smokey didn't take any damage either. No, he oh yeah, he did. Like, yeah, That's he did. right. I, mean, I forgot about that. Right. And um, anyone who has um, taken any damage is not chopped off. Um, in the middle of your character sheet, there should be something that says hit dice. Go ahead and hit that once if you want to roll to uh, regain health. Oh, we've gained full yeah, health after right, no, 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 right, no, no, that's right, short, short rest, rest. Really short rest, rest. Yeah. right, yeah, like, yeah, you guys are all, like I'm just so used to rolling hit dice, <laughs> <laughs> long rest, we recover every hit dice, the moon man goes up three points, no, it's a long rest, so we all, yeah, he's already, he's already yeah. top off, it's like we've just set out on our adventure, <laughs> ready to go. Yep. Yeah. All right. Carrying the daddy yeah. of the dead girl. I say we get these horses back, and we need to get this body. Well, we need to let somebody know about this body. Wait, hang on. Hmm. We haven't figured anything out. We have no idea why she was taken. We have no idea who the mage was, other than no, he has something to do with the dark the religion. No, started right away. That's what I'm saying, though. We had no opportunity. We have. We are literally going back with a body and to say, by the way, we killed them, but that's it. <laughs> we have nothing. Uh, did you want to take a moment to go back and get the bodies? Wait, did we leave or the body? Kill them again? I thought yeah, the, uh, the, the, the the enemy <laughs> body. All right, no. I say we probably... go get them. I say we go get them. Yeah, but Brooke turned one of them into a husk. We ain't getting anything from that one. Well, his, frankly, his physical body no, uh, I'm talking about the ones in the main room before we left. I set one on fire. Like the three, the, the, like the, the zombie, That's the, the, the hooded the blasted guy, blasted and the guy that, that, that struck first. That's true. There is also the zombie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Great. I go back and check the zombie room. All right. I'm gonna go uh, and check, or I'm gonna go and grab that uh, that uh, uh, mage. All right, go for the so mage. Say, um, is it? Are you guys just going for the? Uh, are you guys also bringing back the mage? I blasted the mage. Yeah, but he's I'm still. Yeah, you should, you should fucked up his back. Yeah, so like we can still bring him back. Yeah. Yeah. Spinal. Yeah, there's a bl big blast mark on his back. All right, so as you guys go back from uh, Phoenix, I'll say go ahead and uh, I'll say because of one thing you guys have, roll advantage for investigating the zombie. But as you guys investigate and go over, so and retrieve everybody. No, nah, it's just him. It's as Phoenix. you guys retrieve the other two bodies, though. Yeah, three different um, bodies, right. I'll say you do. You guys do find a couple of things you missed on them. Uh, first and foremost, on the nobleman's body, he did have a written agreement parchment between him and the mage. Um, it seems, seems to be a a contract, a deal, uh, in exchange for a variety of different services to the nobleman. The mage would get assistance with one task and a number of gold. Uh, sadly, it seems none of that is on the nobleman. But you do find out the nobleman's name is Lord Quincy Gallenbost. Bitch. And the mage's name was Bale Durgan. I picked up a scroll from the uh, the mage. You did. I haven't read it yet. I picked up a flask too. So, upon further investigating the maze again, you do find another one. It's a letter, and the letter, uh, to some dismay, I'm assuming that everyone's looking at this in, at these uh, items. Uh, Lord McClure, as the letter is opened, you realize there's a seal. A wax seal at the like back. Where you're going with this project? <laughs> that letter. You recognize that seal as the seal from your kingdom? Oh shit! Oh, I don't like this game anymore. I want out. Hey, Lord McClure, isn't that the seal of your 
Your kingdom? <laughs> yes. What the There's fuck is it doing on the mage? Guys. There's clearly some mistake. There's I clearly... pulled the flask out. I pulled the flask out, show it to McGluer and oh. ask him. So that's why you flask. kept this missing. Face on this flask, do you recognize it? Exactly. It looks like any old tanker minus the face on it to you. It's a tank. What? <laughs> but clearly, anybody there's... know the face on this flask? Does anybody? Anybody see anything on this flask? I've seen little Nicky. I'll say if anyone is trained in Arcana, go Good ahead. Man. Uh, well, actually, you don't even need to roll it. Uh, who's trained in Arcana? Moon Man. Just Moon Man. Yep. Moon. Moon. Man. You recognize that after looking over that uh, tankard, you're not sure what it does, but you're pretty sure this is magically imbued. This was meant to do something. All right. Oh. <laughs> That's the blood of the goat called the That's for uh, uh, investigate the letter. Oh, God, yes. Um, yes. All right. So as you open the letter and begin reading, it seems that this mage was out here on specific orders from someone back home. They do not list themselves as a by name, they lose someone else by codename as the master. To your to your eyes, that can mean anything. Yeah. Okay, but apparently, he was out here to specifically to deal with this noble. And upon completion of dealing with the noble, he was to kill the noble, and also to go to the discussed location, which again, not listed, yeah. and perform the final rite. Oh my god, I just got it. Tragics injected Doctor Who into this now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll find out, I guess. <laughs> oh to god, we're going to have to travel around the world telling people that at one moment in time, they have to text everyone, the doctor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I go that far. <laughs> uh, however, Phoenix, uh, upon investigating the zombie, you realize there's a... You look at his face, you look at his clothes, and you're like, wait, this, the, these markings, these... Son of a bitch. This is the guy who had the journal before you. Oh, shit. Who? Oh. The hunter that was sent before us. The guy we replaced. <laughs> Did we kill? Was it a guy that we killed? No, it he was, was the guy zombie. we were hired to do. Remember oh, yeah. When we were okay. first hired, yeah. I got given his journal. Yeah, I just didn't know which one of the dead ones was him. As you begin searching his pockets for anything useful, the only things you can find is a small little satchel with three gold pieces and two silver pieces. Uh, there seems to be a rolled up parchment that's been sealed tightly. And you do find a nice uh, gold ring with an emblem on top of it. You don't recognize this emblem at first. <clears throat> Can I show the group the ring to see if they... Uh, I'll say... Is anyone else trained in religion? Not I am. I think. Not I. I. Yeah, I, right. I'm trained in religion. I'm close to religion. I'll say roll for, uh, for religion. Hey, definitely not. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah. With a 10. Like the previous symbol on the mage's hand, you want to swear you've seen that somewhere before, but this one, you're less certain about it than the previous symbol. Okay. 
That is my turtle tank. <clears throat> Alright, well, I'll hold on to the items. And actually, uh, can I check out the the scroll? Um, as you open up the scroll, you found on the... Um, it seems to be a last will and testament. Uh, most of it was that any of his belongings that he has would be passed on to um, a fellow hunter so that maybe it would increase their chances. Uh, one is that, that his ring to be given to someone um, it, it's, it all it says is uh, her fair lady of black and says that she can be found in one of the western um, lordly domains. And the last notion is that his, his body is to not to be buried. He wishes it to be burnt and sit out to sea. Okay. Well, <clears throat> well then uh, pick up his body and take him out. Uh, <laughs> That was the zombie, correct? Yeah. yeah. That was the zombie. Yeah. Great question. Are we Prepare his the body for travel? No. If you wanted to reach the ocean from here, you would have to travel by your best memory of a map of, a, of your region. The closest coastline is going to be about, if you guys keep the horses and do this, about at least seven to nine days travel east. Yep. Gotta give it to Roka. Right now, Roka can deal with that shit. It would take Uh, you through the bog, past the the ruined city. Yeah. Yeah. It's well out of the way. Yeah, I would say let's let's take him to the broker and the broker up up the barrel. All right. I agree with that. Um, I'll say regarding the scroll, uh, McLeod, that you found on the maid, Mm. uh, as you open it. You know that it has it has something to do with magic, but because of the script, you're not sure what it does. You just know you yeah. recognize something that looks magical when you see it. Moon, you need to look. Can I have it to Moon Man to look at it? Uh, sure. Moon, I'll on. actually have you roll Arcana for this one. All right. Damn it. So. You recognize that this is indeed a magical scroll. It needs to be casted by someone with magical aptitude. Or possibly with someone without. You might have to train them how to activate it, though. The problem is, you don't quite recognize what spell this is. It's clearly Wingardium Leviosa. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, what the fuck? Uh, so with that, you guys are returning to the, uh, returning the horses and to the village. Yeah, uh, let's right. check the nobleman and all that already. Yeah, he had a letter, but it was like a oh, contract yeah, right. for the okay. yeah. yep. mage. Yep, yep. All right, yeah, yeah. We go back with the horses. All right. So you guys return the horses. Um, of course, the farmer thanks you for your um for bringing them back in one piece. Um, he does tell you that he uh. And he kind of notices the bodies you're bringing with you. That he's sorry for anything you guys may have gone through that was horrendous, because he would not wish that upon anyone else. And that, dude, uh, you should have seen. You should have seen when Brooke touched this guy's face, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got bit by a spider and died. Sorry, Morgan, should I say? He uh, he just tips his hat and wishes you guys the best of luck and. A pleasant travel. So now, all right, now, we, now we got. So that, that was with all the bodies. Don't we have to like take them somewhere? Like, uh, oh, we'd have to take them to the so broker still. So. <laughs> to the broker. Wow. And hopefully the broker might recognize something. Yeah, let's do it. 
Well, no, that we still have the the girl with us as well. So yeah, we have the girl. But you guys left the major nobleman's body behind. Yeah, no, who cares about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, true. I can right, run beef. I eat food for all I care. All right. So as you guys make it back to the town, um, you notice that there's a, a wagon outside the uh, Gerald Storegood uh, guy's shop. Uh, there's a horse on it. Uh, it seems like a couple of um, other villagers have, like are helping them load the thing. It appears he's actually leaving. Yeah, he is. A little bit sooner than he said he was. Um, I think we need to present him with this body, though. Well, he's got nothing to do with it. Yeah, I'll talk to the broker. Oh, 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 oh we were out of, okay, okay. I was confused there for a second. Yeah, because yeah. you got to remember, it was the apothecary who was the father, and we, yep. what well, I watched him burst into flames. Yep. Alright. So you guys are making your way to go see the broker first? Yeah, that's yeah. good. Alright. Yeah, so as you make you guys uh way um into the end you see the broker's there in his usual corner. Looks up and sees you all. Well one, two, three, four you're all here. I hope with good news. I got bit by a spider. Unfortunately not, sir. I walk up and to the broker. It's like, do you ever move from this spot, or do you just sit here constantly? Oh, I move. A talk or question? You <laughs> <laughs> You're not uh, but, uh, I know. <laughs> but uh, do tell. Uh, so, what uh, what fruit have you brought of your investigation? Wouldn't you like to know? <laughs> well, we yeah, have found. We have found, <laughs> we have found the hunter you met before us. Unfortunately, we we're unable to save the kidnapped girl. Her father on the table. You see, he his face goes from being cheerful to "Hey, you're here," to rather just blank, expressionless eyes, kind of looking around. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate. Heard a lot of good stories about her. Mm. Well, uh... I'm curious. Were you perhaps intrigued romantically by the, uh, the young lady? No, just it's a small background like this town in the middle of nowhere, wanting to do something more for herself. Kind of a romantic notion, you know? Really wished yeah. her the best, but... I find it weird you having a romantic notion. From someone who's oh. all around secrecy. <laughs> I mean, quite frankly, in my books, you're a peeping Tom right now. <laughs> well, it's not just me, but I see your point. Well, you did well, say you have eyes everywhere. True, but does that mean one cannot enjoy the simple things in life? I agree. I know what you're talking about. I mean, no. It, well, yeah, it means that you can still. Enjoy I say it. fucking draconic. Hey, Y'all fucking draconic. All right, crazy. Have a good one. I'll catch you later. Later, crazy. Well, have a good one, crazy. Hi, stranger. All right. I'm going to give the broker uh, all the belongings of the hunter. See what he wants to do with them. Uh, I just realized the turtle camera's frozen. Let's see. He wishes this. I'll take responsibility for his body. Um... Uh, the coin pouch. It's like he, he holds it and like, just kind of balances it. Hmm. He spent a lot more than I thought he did. He kind of looks over. Excuse me. Keep a... You see the old man look? This is on us. 
He tosses a bag of coins to him. Now, regarding this ring... How do you all feel about going cross-country? That depends. I feel like you're not paying me enough for it. Yeah, we're not getting paid enough. We've, ar we've already had to kill a lot of things, and, and two of us were near death. I got bit by That's a right. spider. My apologies. Allow me. You see him procure a few bags uh, from inside his cloak, place them all on the counter, one for each of you. Is that not enough for head, one job? I take job? the bag hesitantly. hesitantly. Pick the bag. All right. Do you look what's in the bag? Yeah. I do. Yeah. You see in the bag, at least from a glance without outright counting at all, about fifteen gold pieces, and an additional seven platinum pieces. Damn. Damn. Fifteen Dang. gold and seven platinum. Holy shit. Mm -hmm. Collectively in gold worth, that's about. Okay, you said 15 gold, right? That's about 85 gold worth altogether. Yeah. <coughs> okay, so you said 15 gold and what? Seven, seven platinum. platinum. So collectively, each of those pouches has about 85 gold worth. Because every platinum is about 10. And platinum's the PP pee -pee one? <laughs> yeah. PP. Pee -pee. Ah. And you said 17 platinum? Sorry. Seven. Seven. Oh, seven platinum. Okay. There will be more where that came from, if you're still up to it. I'm just going to... I'm just going to say... Depends, broker. I was going to say, sir, if you help me find my fiance, I'm willing to help you further with your mission. Your fiance, she was the, uh, he kind of motions for you to lean in closer. He whispers it in your, uh, into your ear in Celestial, uh, her name. And about roughly the time you're pretty sure she disappeared. And he leaves, and he, you know, kind of takes a step back to give you guys some room. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, like I said, I will give you my sword and for your help. You see him step, uh, stand up, reach a hand out. On oh, my order, my honor, and the order's honor. We shall assist you. Thank you. He turns and looks at the rest of you. Still a time to back out if you're not feeling up to it, or if it's too much to handle. If you require a little bit more incentive than that, I could see what I know now to give you something. We would like to know everything you know. You, it, we're we're tired of going in blind. We want to know, we want to know what you know right now. Do you have any intel on the next mission? Actually, there is one thing I can tell you regarding next mission. Oh, it's actually in the same let region me stop as the right ring. There, what do you mean by, by Ken? Ken, are you hiding some more? Well, there are certain things that are, you could say need to know basis based on, are you just, are you with us or are you just working with us? My understanding is this is a work relationship, not a personal relationship. Aye, but we need to know the dangers and 
everything above uh, that, that's going to be over our heads going into this mission. You, you, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't see, you don't see the king's army going in without some intelligence of some kind about the situation. We want to know what we're dealing with. <laughs> but uh, even but the, king's the king's soldiers don't know everything. Indeed, and actually, everything. quite often they know far less than we do. For example, the mission you had here, that was as much as we could scrounge up on our own without further knowledge from my contact, which he found dead. If he was able to report in with what he knew, I would have had more for you. As far as I can see... I take that and I, I kind of turn away and, and walk to the corner for a minute, kind of catch, you know, calm myself down. As far as I, I can see... As far as I can see, they're out to destroy evil, so I'm with them. I I grab my bag that, that's still sitting on the table, and I stand up abruptly, kicking over the stool. And I say, I will fight for you. And I hold up the scroll, that, uh, the note that has the uh, my kingdom seal, and I was like, if I find out that this um, this scroll came from my king, king, not kingdom, or anyone high up in the religion, I will break all contact and go to them. But I will work with you to get the information I require. This is purely work related. I do not like you. And I do, I trust you far less. But I am in a predicament where I, myself, have to go against my own religion or commandment, as it were, so that I can get to the truth of why my kingdom is involved in this so called dark magic ritual. I spin around after overhearing this conversation and gesture McLure my way. I glare at the walk towards me. <laughs> you see, uh, the rest of you see him uh, reach into his uh, cloak, pull out a parchment, and begins writing on it. There's a reason I gave you my friend's former journal, because that's the best weapon anyone on the job can have. Now, as far as your very zealous friend over there, regardless of trust, this may prove useful. He finishes describing something and holds it out to just hold it out openly. He doesn't even hold it out towards any one of you. And me and McLure are, are stood back, so we can't. I'll take the scroll and read it. Me and Phoenix will both look over the scroll. Yeah. What does it say? What's it written in? I don't like it, Mac. It's written in common. Okay. We understand the hierarchy of things. We're not always given. We're right now. We're the low, low man on the totem pole. We don't get a lot of information. Essentially. Mhm. Mm I come from a broken home, so I don't get any information. <laughs> well, my home was attacked, so you know. Yeah. Um, as you look at the parchment, it reads, uh, contact, and then the name of, uh, if McLeod is reading his northern kingdom's name, uh, Zevran Padloft. If looking for any information that we may know, see him. Uh, wait, so is this scroll directed to, like, meant for me more? Or is it it's, meant for all it, of the content? It distinctly lists things related to you, like it mentions the kingdom name, it mentions... Um, contact's name is Everett Padloff. It also mentions it to find him uh, either wait um, in front of the church or in front of the uh, uh, gate to the main kingdom at a certain time at a certain position and he will be near and uh, speak to whoever's there. Yeah, but I don't think me and McClure know about this yet. No, we at this moment. We didn't. But he did state that this would help 
the zealous friend he was, you know, met looking kind of motioning to McClure as he did this. So does the rest of you inform McClure of this, or you just kind of keep it from him? Yeah, I would tell him. McClure, yeah, you might want to read over this. It'd be and beneficial. It involves your hmm. kingdom. Um, I'll, I'll take the, the parchment from Bo uh, Morgan, sorry. Why are these names? <laughs> no, like, so, so you got the context. Well, Moon is Moon. Mm -hmm. Phoenix is Phoenix. You got Morgan, and mine's Smokey, and it should be Macaw. Damn it. I'll go look over the scroll and once I've done reading it, I'm going to put it into my my pouch, as it were. Okay, so you put it in your pouch. And I've gone from more of an angry look to more of a kind of disbelief. I aggressively motion McLure back over to me. I'm blue oblige. <laughs> Are you like aggressively staring at each other over there? Well, no, I'm. I'm he was more on his way over to me already, and he like went back. Wow. Yeah, because like, I'm. I'm. I'm more concerned. I'm more concerned the fact that my kingdom has somehow been either indirectly or directly involved with this. But considering that uh, my kingdom's seal is also essentially part of the religious seal, for me, it's like basically seeing, basically like. Say having a church, say like, oh no, we had nothing to do with it to find out that they're the ones who actually started a fight. Yep, yep, I know what you're saying. Oh wow, yeah. And because because when I was young, I was shunned by the other nobles. The church was my sanctuary. Yep. I don't like this music. It's getting me all emotional. <laughs> As I'm standing over here next to Phoenix, though, I go. You might want to keep an eye on those two. They seem a little volatile. I agree. I'll show you volatile. <laughs> she devil. <laughs> We're not in combat anymore. I have no need to be uh, aggressive. Now, mind you, we haven't spoken about it. Okay, I, 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 I don't. I don't have. Uh, okay, so what was the war called? Uh, oh, the between. Uh, it was called the Idril War. The intro war, named after the forest, it's that where it was fought. Intro. Yeah, let me go to that handout I made for it to read it off. Uh, uh Y G G R A I L. Say it one more time. Mm -hmm. I spell it. Y G G R A I L. So, Rigio. It's, yeah. it's pronounced like a bad eye, so it's like Igril. Igril. Okay, Igril. Okay. Got you. All right. So, now I, I'm speaking to McLure. I'm, I'm in a. a uh, stern yet quiet voice. I say, McClure, you have to tell me anything you know about the Igro War. You know anything about it. <laughs> You've been in the church. You've been in the church for I don't know, I don't know how long. Do you know anything about it? From what I've learned, the Idril, the Idro War for me was my family's rise to nobility for the actions that my ancestors uh, played a role in. But right. from the history that I've learned from the books, it was a bloody war that most people tend not to learn where I come from. But in the, in the church, it's taught more as a warning than history. Okay. Well, I'll McClure, say as a, as a code name for it in your religion, they call it, in, in their in the religious term, they call it the Petty War. Petty War. Okay. 
so I turn, uh, you know, I, I turn kind of to the side, you know, put my head down, and I'm more in a somber tone this time. You have to promise, Lee, promise me something, Lord McClure. If you find anything, anything at all about that war between the two, you have to let me know what you find. I don't know who I am. I don't know who I am. I don't know. I don't know where I come from. I don't know the type of the people we were. All I know is from my travels. All I know is draconic. I need your help, McClure. You're the only hope. You're the only grasp I have onto this war right now because you are one of the one that my people were fighting. I need to know. I'll agree to help if you agree that if my kingdom has anything to do with it, that we um, even I myself even if I have to do it alone will protect my people and if it comes to it I will burn the sovereign to the ground or the sovereign McClure, I swear to you on all that is holy if you find something out for me just to know who I am would be enough for me to light an arrow on fire and put it between anybody's eyes you want me to put it in between. We are agreed. And I, I gesture a handshake. I take that hand and firmly grasp a hold of it. <coughs> it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. <laughs> Girl, his friend, his brother, as if the muscles bulge you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see as those who were having the vaccines, the rest of you were hearing this from the broker. As far as another job goes, there's two in mind. The reason I asked about going cross country is my friend did want this ring returned to a certain woman. She's somewhere out in the lordly domains of the west, and there is a potential job out there, but there is also another nearby, but I'm not sure if you really want to take up that one. <clears throat> what is the nearby job? There's been a lot of problems with our hunters and stories around. You, pr I pray you've heard about the local bog and the story of Seeing a lady or seeing a wolf. Hi. Or a wolf lady. We've been trying to see about getting some people to have a look inside. One, if there's any validity to these stories and if it's something we need to keep a particular eye on. But more importantly, it's what's after the bog. The ruined city, we... A lot of information is not documented regarding what became of that city after the war. We wish to find out more and see if there's anything there that... As far as the order is concerned, needs to be taken care of. You'll often find a lot of dark things hide in the darkest of places of man's history. Especially those not talked about. Well, if there's evil there, then better it crushed. Eventually, it will help McCall with his questions about his past. I, I like the cut of your kind. Maybe with a little more time, we may consider formally introducing you to the Order, whether you choose to stay or not. Well, <clears throat> definitely depending on how everything goes, I do like the idea of going out and helping people and destroying evil and protecting people, so sign me up. Now, regarding what you found on this job, because... I didn't really hear enough details. What did you find out about this man and this hooded figure? 
So as far as we know, they were going uh, about to conduct a ritual. We're not too sure what it, what they were going to do exactly, but it seems we interrupted it and to stop to it. Um, maybe, other than the connection, point. other than the connection with McClure's, Lord McClure's, uh, I'll say at this point, as Phoenix is uh, speaking to the broker, if you guys are, you guys are essentially within earshot, so you're, you guys are still hearing this on top of whatever you guys said to each other. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But with the the connection to Lord McClure's uh, kingdom, uh, there's not a whole bunch of other information. Hey, let's, you guys, let's show this broker that bowl and that dagger that we had found. We did find items that were stolen here in town, significant items. Yes, we, we did. We, let's have him take stolen. a look at it and see if he knows if he knows anything about them. I can read some of that bowl. I just can't decipher it all. You found the missing items. Two of them. Two there was a third. We found two Well, that would have been the items from the general store, but those were consumable oh, items. Yeah, yeah, they were consumable. Yeah, they were. Yeah. Right. I'm you guys present the the two items to the broker. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. You see him um, hold them both up. He seems to mutter something under his breath. Then you watch his eyes grow this kind of teal or light blue color i get i get kind of suspicious and start kind of looking him over very carefully you guys really uh, do not like this guy i'll <laughs> say roll an insight check as you do that. oh hold up what am i rolling go ahead roll an insight check as you do that Thirteen. he seems pretty focused on the object that you give uh we're showing him Well, that's interesting. So, as for the bowl, this was meant to be used as a means of communication with beings outside of this plane. But it requires blood quite a bit of blood does, does can you decipher maybe what beings i know it's written in draconic i can read some of it there's some stuff in there that i don't know if it's ancient draconic or what it is some, there, there's certain certain Deviance symbols in this writing i don't it. understand i can see at first most of it appears draconic, but there's some bits that are bits of other languages. That's why I couldn't read it, you guys. If I'm understanding this correctly, this bull could be used to contact one of a few deities. One of them being... What was that thing's name again? It's the same as that symbol. It was the... Ah, yes. One of the gods you can contact with this is... Siric. Wait, was that not... Brooks? No, it's not. Siric was the god of mischief, wasn't it? God of lies. Sorry, the very one you saw on the back of the mage's hand. Yeah. There are a couple of as oh, well, went on to the dragons, which I will not utter her name here. Dragons. I do know dragons a little bit. There Can are I some. Tell me her name. Uh... One moment. 
he writes down a name in, in the draconic language and slides it over to you. I read it. You may know her as the, if you know your religious history, the mother of dragons. And one should not, uh, one should not deal with her if they can. Whereas the other deity of dragons, Bahamut, that's another story. Some among our older fights. Rick. They sound familiar to me, but not not to the full extent. That I was mostly taught survival with the with the draconic, not so much their beliefs. As you read the name on the paper, you can actually read it, and the name is pronounced Tiamat. Tiamat. It says Tiamat. Tiamat is evil. Tiamat. <laughs> Brooke, what do you know about this Tiamat? Morgana. <laughs> Morgana, sorry, Jesus Christ. <laughs> it takes a while. It's really hard to go with Morgana. the name. <laughs> it is. It's the um, Tiamat is the god of the goddess, dragon goddess, of uh, the evil. Essentially, the polar opposite of the deity yeah, the Organa of believes in. Bahamut is my god. I start feeling, uh, you can, you, every, uh, you can, I start feeling really agitated and kind of like just like within my my own mind, and I'm thinking, have I been lied to this whole time? Are dragons really evil? Um, I'll say you, you remember that your tribesmen, they spoke highly of, um, beings like Bahamut and dragons with scales that of, um, precious colors like, uh, copper, silver, gold, um, but you only heard the name Tiamat a couple of times and anytime it was brought up, uh, Younger dragons would uh, cover their eyes and cover their ears, or older dragons would shake their head and, like, you know, basically get a person was like, we don't speak of that name. They never really give you a long explanation as to why. I recall growing up being told this name, but all. All young dragons would cover their eyes, their ears. They like they didn't want to hear it. Where the older dragons would, they would, they would kind of spit, shake their heads, like they didn't want any. They didn't want to hear this name. No, I don't blame them. Tiamat is a. She, you Ricky, you won't call her. Uh, um, you you. You would know of her as your family worships Bahamut, and she's essentially um, his opposite. She's often depicted as having five heads, one of every color of uh, chroma, and she's often associated with greed. Greed. The chroma colors of dragons. Red, but the most green, black, white. Bahamut and Tiamat are siblings. Oh. oh. Sounds like you're going on about the Dragon of Destruction from my religion. Bahamut and Tiamat. But McClure, did you say that to all? Did you say that out loud or were you thinking it? No, I said that out loud. McClure, please, please, please elaborate. No. Uh, in my religion, well, we can obviously call it Timo, it was just called the Dragon of Destruction. And no one, anyone who saw the dragon never came back. Oh, yeah. There's been stories and stories of cities and mountains fallen, but it's just been associated in my religion with destruction. There are many dark. There are many dark deities that 
my order fights or you know will use its power to protect the world or unfortunately there are very few light deities in my religion that's why we believe that one god gives us paladins the power to fight we are his champion or their champion i feel a, a sudden jolt of depression and 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 uh almost betrayal come amongst my body and i wait for the bar barkeep for an ale well uh not to cut through the doom and gloom around here that's upon such various informations uh Again, you, none of you have to do anything for us. We just merely offer our assistance in whatever we can, both in what we set you out to do, as well as your personal endeavors, if you so choose to. Hey. But I tell you now, Broker, this information has really touched home. He speaks back to you in uh, Draconic. You mentioned something about your family and the war. Are you from these general parts, the bog in the wood? I'm from the other side of the wood. As far as I know, that's all I know. That's all the dragons would tell me. That's all they knew. That they knew I was from the village outside of the wood. They found me. They found me alone in the woods. I was just a mere baby. You see him think for a moment, pulls out a rolled parchment, pull, uh, spreads it out. He then starts pointing to um, several places on it. And uh, he points at one spot in the wood uh, towards the, about the, not, not the middle of the wood, but maybe a bit off to the south of it. And where he's pointing, you recall, that's roughly about where the tribe would say they found you. I, that, that right there is where they say they found me. The dragon, they found me there. That's, and then in common... He turns the map around and points well into the bog, and he looks like a what looks like a castle on the map. And then, so he comes back to it in common. Then, my friend, as much as I don't want to send anyone there, at least not anyone who isn't confident, you may find some answers here. The ruined, forsaken city of Dalek Bog. As much as I would like to be selfish at this point, I cannot go that way. I, I have to deal with the task on hand. We do have a job there. That could be in a later day. That can be in a later date. <clears throat> he did offer us a job there. I know what's important. I know what's important. I do have my priorities straight. I just Pray had tell to me know. What, I just what had to know. Say what? What task at hand is this? The task you present forth. Right now we're free agents. Well, I guess I may have uh, may have not spoken loudly enough, but there is two things on our immediate attention. One being the delivery of the ring to the west. The other one, we've been wanting to investigate the bog, the lady in white and the wolf as well as the city but what few we have sent have uh, often came back and had trouble finding through the bog I can get through the bog I can get us through the bog I know the bog I've been there many times oh yeah our chance 
You wouldn't have happened to know the warrior that was staying here, who headed east, I think the innkeeper said, but... She looked promising. I only spoke to her briefly. Uh, she just said she was uh, on a personal quest to do some good in this world that she has for her home. And do you believe this woman? Is she, is she ever... truthfully, you, you, do you truthfully think that what she presented to you was in, it was factual information? Aside from the color of her armor, I don't remember the last time I saw any bright-eyed, starry-eyed young lass who was so ready to go anywhere. She seemed too, too sincere, but also too, heaven forbid it, I want to say maybe a tad naive. So you think a fool's errand? I think maybe a fool with a stout and good heart that's bound to get in over their head eventually. She's not somebody one of ours, maybe, so. Somebody maybe we that might have information that we need to help, perhaps? Hmm. I mean, if she headed east into the city, she might have found stuff we may not have found. Well, Long time, it wouldn't be. I... Short term. I haven't yeah, seen but... her since. Uh, yeah, but she the innkeeper said that she left already. So, mm -hmm. if she's... If she has headed east to the city, she has a head start on us, which then means that if we do find her... One, she could become a temporary companion while we go through the city, and two, she might find things that we may not find. She might have already found things or, she was, when she gets there. Before. Or she might need our help. I... All that. My only concern is, one, the bog myth of the woman in the wolf. And two, we don't know what awaits inside the city. Aye. So if we choose to go to the city, I would suggest that we do our best to prepare for what's to come. Agreed. And the easier the easier task would be delivering the ring. However, though that takes us further away from our original um, some of our um, point looking at uh, Mac uh, personal quest and considering I do believe you said that the city was involved in the Idrical Id War indeed it was the city then I might also find out more about why my kingdom is being involved in dark arts or dark magic mm. which kind of takes away obviously uh, Morgan's and Flameheart's personal quest but considering that there is a job there already essentially we are killing two birds with one stone <clears throat> indeed and I have a uh... A couple years on one one set of personal vendettas already though nothing yet has turned up I I've agreed to help Flameheart's agreed to help I'm assuming Mac you've agreed to help yes I have agreed to help but I'm gonna say hesitant so, Moon, do you agree to help? Yes. And uh, naturally, Morgan, are you in agreement? Yes. I have nowhere else to go, but this might be a way to figure out what's going on in my homeland. So, are we. Tonight, tonight we feast. I will but hunt. And but tomorrow we dine in hell. <laughs> Tonight we feast. Well, get ready for the battle ahead. 
So we're, we're, we're agreeing that we, as adventurers and potential heroes, will take on the quest to head east into the ruined city through the bog. Bog through the bog. Agreed. I can get us through the bog. And although, and I will say this op openly, I may not trust the broker, but considering <laughs> that us, as comp compatriots, have fought goblins, mages, spiders, and zombies, and, and a zombie, Video I will trust life. you. I will trust you with my life, and I will hope that you will trust your lives with me. Raises his glass I do. of ale. Raise the glass of ale that I got from the barkeep. Fair cheers. Enough. I raise my glass and cheers as well. I will turn back to the broker because I don't have I believe I, I, I owe the barkeep some gold. That's you an see, expensive uh, ale. The broker <laughs> uh, paid. his hand. And you see uh, ever so quickly the barkeep and the... Uh, uh, his young assistant uh, come and bring everyone uh, around and also some uh, breads and meats to stack on. As so, I said before, as long as you're working with us, any board and food is on us. Any tools we think we may need on your travels will also be on us. Hi. Any expensive stuff that will be on you. Hi. We'll come back and to, to the, the best of luck to us in our quest through the bog. Enjoy the food and drink, my good sirs and madam. Oh, Please, oh, stick I'm around. Not for I'm not done with you, broker. I doubt we ever will be. Oh, God. But tomorrow, I will have supplies for you, priest. I... <sighs> Turns to a McLure. Just relax. We will get our answers in time. We must be patient. Okay. I've, I, if anything I have learned living in the wilds, patience. Patience will, I'm, will bring you glory. Just I'm as gonna, you may not trust him yet, he may not fully trust you yet. I don't care, he doesn't trust me. Now, that is not the attitude to have. You no. must be modest, no. Mr. McLure. You must be modest. We have to go in this with open minds. Oh, I go in with an open mind, yes. But I don't trust a man who, one, spies on me and does not reveal himself, and two, literally throws us into a quest where, if granted, he may not have had all the information. Oh, so they scatter his members. By the fucking, uh, grabs McLure by the shirt, pulls him in. Go. I look at I look at Smokey. Uh, Smokey, <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> I look at oh. I look at McCall and I say, oh, um, I, won't I won't I yeah. won't ruin this." And he's like, "But my priority is the safety of innocents." I agree with that, Mr. McClure. But mind you, as well as that's all our priorities. We have to, we, we have to do it smart. We have to think like the world around us. Just close your eyes. Just close your eyes, McClure. Take a deep breath and listen. Listen. Just listen to the sounds around you. That's how you feel. That's how you feel. And assuming you close your eyes, all you hear is the sound of glasses. Chaos. <laughs> Small <laughs> Your, your glass is not. You're humming. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to show him something. <laughs> I, I'll open my eye. I open my eyes and um. I don't have to trust him, nor do I have to like him. But as no. I said earlier, I trust you, all of you, with my life, and that's why I'll put my faith, not in him, but in us. For Moon Man, he's got some yes. HP. Agreed. And if you need us to help you with your personal quests, 
your kingdom's guilty of evil, then you have you ever set your back. Well, if my kingdom's guilty of evil, I'm burning that shit to the ground. I'll light the torch. And I'll be right there at your side, Mr. McGlure. All right. And you have my spells. <laughs> well, I know my, my territory and my home is not... They were attacked by evil of some sort. And I will also, I will also add this as well. If you are I'm assist, under. if you are assisting, assisting me. Wow, I cannot speak for shit. The sale's gone right through me. <laughs> I will assist your endeavors, because it is only right that a champion of light, who has been given, who has been assisted in his, must return the favor. Raises his glass, his glass, and says. We all support each other. Hurrah. Future adventurers. Cheers. I think I've had too much to Cheers. drink. <laughs> I know we kind of daytime drink a little bit today, you guys. What are we doing? <laughs> this is the best uh, thing we can do now is rest up and. Eh? Wait yeah, we need for to spend. Tomorrow. We need to spend the day in the. Uh, yeah, we need to spend the day in town now. <laughs> right. I'm not a good idea to fight on a, on a in a drunken state. No, I am very. Just travel. Right. And as you guys spend the rest of the day going about whatever business you so to, uh, choose to do and resting up for the morrow's uh, quest, we'll conclude our story here for now. Oh. I, 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 that's a good place to quit. At least Rich. I wasn't like, you fucker, why did you do that? <laughs> 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 no, that, that